Okay, everybody, welcome, welcome back to Manor Lords. Uh, sorry, you gotta turn this down a little bit. Uh, so we are gonna play another game of Manor Lords. It was a lot of fun yesterday, and I kind of wanted to give it another go today. And it seems like, did all the music kick off? No, it's just really low. Uh, so we're gonna start a new one, because we had a lot of fun yesterday, but we kind of got to about towards the end of um, the content that was in there. So I've done this one off screen. Um, I did this one yesterday, and I think we're going to try this one, which should be a little bit harder today. Uh, we learned a couple things. We fucked up a little bit. Uh, we almost starved to death towards the end there. I definitely think we um, grew the col... Oh, there it is. There's the music. We grew the town too fast, and we didn't have enough food. We, we couldn't really grow that much food, uh, which was definitely problematic. So... Let's give this a new try. I'm kind of hoping maybe this one we can grow more food so that uh, we, we have to rely on imports a little bit less, but we'll see where it goes. And I can't wait for the full game of this. I can't fucking wait. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, all right. Pause. Already got a message. Reach large town, uh, town settlement to achieve victory, and we're going to get attacked a lot. Um, okay. So we're going to turn off tutorials this time. So we've got a tiny amount of stone. A ton of iron, that's good. A fair amount of clay, a regular amount of animals, and a regular amount of berries. Your remote got the best quotes. Man, I really wish these people would get uh, better fu get better fucking each other over time. Probably supposed to say get better at. Uh, but anywho, uh, let's take a look at our farmland. Sure, Shut up, baby, baby I, know I know it. it. Uh, do, 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 farming. I think that's better. Also, this is a... Ooh, look at this plot over here. Fuck me. If I, if I want to farm, I need to go the hell over here. That is also a rich deposit of wild animals. Every house should be big enough for a backyard job. Uh, I disagree. I don't think every single one needs to be big enough for a backyard job, especially if you just need people working. Um, because the backyard jobs do take time away from their other jobs. Um, so I, 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 especially if you're just trying to get a bunch of workers in quickly, I think just cramming them in as tight as possible is the, the ideal way to go. Um, iron deposit. Also, early game, I don't have a lot of money to spend on backyard stuff. So over here, it's kind of, it's got a lot of clay and some more stone. Hmm. Hmm. Um, the rye fertility is through the roof. Barley? Yeah. Like, there is some fertility here, but not much. So, like, this is going to need to be a farming settlement for us, methinks. Because we're not going to be able to provide ourselves that much food here. You need the... Oh, I, I, I'm aware of that. I'm saying... I'm not saying every single one needs to be small. I'm saying not every single one needs to be big. Uh, how is the game? Excellent. Uh, again, rye seems to be... Rye is just the way to go. And, and like, we will be able to... Like, we could use this little valley here for farmland, it seems. Oh, there's a river! I haven't had a river before. Okay, so it's okay, not bad. But let's, let's get some... Where's, where's my, um... Where's my people? Here we are. Let's just make sure that we don't start putting houses down where we need a farm. Can survive winters by using chickens, goats. Def, I have played the game before, and goats do not provide food. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because, like, right here, we're not going to be wanting me to farm or, or start our, um, our, our houses right here. So probably over this way a little bit more. Uh, two, 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 two. Let's make sure these roads are connected in. There we go. And do the normal thing I do here, which is usually just make sure all these things are hooked in together to make everybody's lives a little bit easier. Is this... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Go. Okay, that's too... That's a little too close. So we'll... There we go. Oh, is that... That's not it. Remove that. This one there. And then this one. Go to the main road. Booty ba bomb. Uh, and we just need a good spot to start cutting down trees, cause fuck the environment. 
Uh, gathering, logging camp. I think we'll just put it on this road down here. Is this going down? Oh yeah, that, that that goes downhill. Oh, this is there is some some up and down on this this map. I like this one. Oh, cool. All right, you could just go there. We'll start with that. Um, and oh, new message already. Reports of bandits and raiders roaming nearby land. Should we uh, we'll, we'll be ready. It's fine. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I haven't actually played this one yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna uh, if I'm gonna die horribly, but we'll see. I I am curious as where I should put my points first, because like we don't have a lot of berries, we don't have a lot of uh, wildlife. But, maybe twice the efficiency of a communal oven. Ooh. Maybe, <laughs> tempting? Tempting to go to, like, orchardry, I feel like should be a little further in. I don't know if it should be like a level one thing. Like, like right here, maybe it should be like up here or over here. Because it's expensive early game to put orchards in. It's 50 bucks. And the sheep don't provide food. Heavy plow would get me to up here, but we need orchards to get to rye cultivation. I feel like that's kind of the way to go still. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. All right, camp is a going. Bloop. go. Alright, put someone in there. Okay, let's see here. I think our initial we settlement should be right over here. Baby, I know it. Voltron, thank you for the doodly. Try to pause. Def, I know. I know. Uh, we need Woodcutter's Lodge early on. So that'll go together there. Uh, we need... Hunter's camp, which we'll put in right here. There we go. Not that. That's not what I wanted. Demolish that. Just hook that into here. Boop. There we go. Go full military uh, on this one early. This is kind of like the military campaign, so we definitely need to focus on the military more in this one. Absolutely need to focus on the military more. But, uh, at the same time, the problem I had in the the last one was I didn't focus on food enough. So when the colony, so the population blew up, we couldn't, we, we couldn't, uh, feed the people. There's the woodcutter, so we'll get him going. Hunting camp is finished, so, okay. So we got some basics. Food's coming in, firewood's coming in, wood's coming in. Oh, did the game, the game is not out yet. D uh, Def, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say it one last time. I have played the game. I know you're trying to be helpful. It's starting to get a little annoying. Uh, two 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 two. Uh, we need some houses, and we're gonna start over here. And I've got enough for three, so that's what we'll start with. Uh. So I think we maybe just. Do three fairly large size ones so that we can get the extra the extra stuff in. I think that's fine. Cause that's that that's just general. General good size. Find out what the horses do. Um I didn't notice any difference in the horses and the ox. And I couldn't find any information in game, um, to um, to like to to like say this is mechanically different from that, other than they just have a different cost. So honestly, I don't know. Yes, 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 yes. I can only do one thing at a time. Well, yeah, kind of right now. I can really only do one thing at a time. 
And right now we are building houses. So yeah, focus on the house. Boop, boop, boop. Have for future dev. I highly doubt it because it is specifically uh, li like listed with like the the pack animals and things like that. So it's most likely that they are more efficient in some way. But the game it, it's either just not in there yet, or the game doesn't tell you. Doesn't it make tra trading go faster? My that that's kind of I'm I'm thinking it's probably an efficiency thing. It's probably one is better than the other. They're faster in some way, but like I said, the game just doesn't say. Hey, we got one house. Huzzah! We'll let them uh, go uh, finish these up before we do anything else, though, and. How much do the first couple... Uh, the, so, vegetables are the cheapest thing early on. Nice work. But... But I, these, these aren't really, like, optimized for vegetables. I don't want to spend that much on eggs early on, though. How much have we been playing? Hang on, let me look. Um, is this is Steam. Steam. I've played 15 hours. So, a bit. A bit. And I can't wait to get my hands on the, the full version. I love how they talk. When you get in close, you can just hear them, like, conversing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on the homeless population thing. I always like getting another oxen uh, pretty early. That that's my my thing. As I always feel like getting a second oxen going is an is almost always a good early game thing. Increase uh, efficiency with because uh, you you need the oxen for so much. All right, one less homeless person. Huzzah! We're doing fine on fuel. Oh my god. Uh, actually, we're so good on fuel right now, you could be assigned to do other things at the moment, honestly. Uh, we got 16 timbers. That's good. Hello, aloha. Wait, aren't you playing Helldivers with Leah? Why are you over here? What are you- because, like, right now, this- the- like, the- the-, the it's off doing other things. Is that three homeless still? Yeah, still some homeless people. The hunting camp is fine. We can get the um uh the the berry the berry harvester, the gatherer berry harvester. The gatherer in early too, just to start getting that um kind of stockpiled for later. Bing bong. Bing bong. Nice little curve road there. It is kind of like advanced banished. It's like it's it, it, it is kind of like banished plus. A berry yeah, there we go, a berry hunter. Boom. Uh and then we're also gonna need uh, a boop -a, -doop, a marketplace. Which right here on this corner seems fine. Seems like a great spot for a good, a good thick marketplace. I don't know if it's better to do like one big marketplace or a couple small ones. I tend to go with one big one though. That's that's my normal. Okay. Hmm. Wolves and bears over time. I I hope I, I hope they add everything. I would not be terribly bummed out if my people were hunted by bears at some point. All right, let's get in. Uh, I think just at this intersection here, we'll put in the storehouse and the granary. It doesn't want to snap in where I want it though, so they could be across the road from each other.
And we got plenty of construction material. So that's good now. Uh, uh, tempted to get that second oxen in early. Because the oxen's 20, right? And I got 50. So I could do one chicken coop. And then what I could easily do is bring in another hitching post. And maybe just put it someplace else this time. Uh, here, why, why don't we have this one uh, right down over here? By the by the thingy there. And then I could buy a second oxen. Because I always feel like early on, it's the oxen that's slowing everything down. Don't think size matters as long as you put the plot in. It's location proximity to houses. So if you're correct, it's going, uh, in going for a larger uh, market plots. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Five families, three three living spaces. We're making progress, though. Just got to try to get that uh, that homeless population and some of the basics under control. Size always matters. Damn straight. Hoopla. That'll get us our storehouse. I'll assign one family to work there. I don't know if it's super useful early on to do this, but I like if they take all the material and start getting it more centrally located. That makes me happy. And this, let, let, let's ask, ask them to do this quickly, because then I can get the other oxen in. Super. How do you increase population? Uh, you provide enough housing and make the people happy, and it'll lure in more families. Yeah, because like right now it's it's we're waiting on the oxen more than anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in another oxen, so that we can move material around faster. Then I'm gonna build some more um, houses. Lure in. I also have been calling them rubes. So lure luring in the rubes, and you've already got you got the chimkins, right? Yeah, chimkins. Okay. All right, that's another source of food. So we have three three small sources of food, at least. Hitching post is done. I'm going to order in an oxen. Greenery is finished. Excellent. Tight, 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 tight. Yeah, they are starting to store stuff there. That's good. And now we're going to put in some more houses. And because it makes me happy... Uh, we'll basically keep them about the same size in terms of, like, the thickness. Now, I like it if we if we make them small enough to fit in the extra housing unit rather than, like, a big row of houses here. So I like it kind of like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Boom. And then what I always think is useful is making sure that they don't kind of spread their their construction juices all over the place and kind of focus down on one and then go on to the next one. We, lo we love the poorly end. Damn straight. And now I've got those two oxen moving, which is making things more efficient. Because, like, you kind of need one oxen just for the logging camp. And... And then if you have another one to kind of move uh, construction stuff around, I feel like that's just like, that's efficiency, Rutlar. And that'll be enough houses to start luring in rubes. Uh, and the other thing we need is a well, which we can beautifully fit right across the road from the houses. And then what I kind of like to do is uh, go... Give it a little, give it a little, floop, a little floopy. Yep, there's another house. Take that, homeless. <laughs> Government funded housing. Oh, and we don't have anybody in here yet, so let's make sure somebody is assigned to the forager hut. So there is food coming in from that as well. And I'm going to take you out of here. So that we have that person assigned to construction at the moment. Uh, let's make sure the well gets done quickly. 
Slowly but surely rem I am slowly but surely removing the homeless. In a good way. And yeah, this this is like banished times ten. So I'm curious, in hmm, in the other start I did, um, it gave you your first like 20 weapons and shields early on. I don't know if this one does that. Because it was easy to get your first 20 guys. But this one I'm like, wait, maybe maybe this one won't. Maybe this one won't be as kind. This is going well so far. We just need to get a couple more of these finished. There's the well. So that we can get some more uh, rubes moving in. Uh, and I just got an equipment delivery, so no. Okay, so big decision. What do we want to go with first? Some early iron, or would that be too early? I don't know. I haven't actually played this start yet, so I don't know, like, how... How, how spicy the pacing's gonna get. So, my instinct is to try to get rye cultivation early. But that means basically throwing away my first point because orchardry is great, but it takes several years for the apple trees to grow to like full and it's 50 bucks per plot. Which I absolutely can't afford. So this is kind of what I, I kind of feel like these should be reversed because this one should be like higher in and it should be easier to get. But like I don't have a lot of animals so the trapping is not going to be so good. I don't have a lot of berries. I mean beekeeping's always great but it's like a fair, it's a fair bit of labor for a small bit of honey. Yeah orchards do seem a bit mid game. Um, basic armor smithing. I think I I think these ones we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna veto for early on. That makes trading easier. This allows you to buy in firewood and food easily, but we don't have any regional wealth right now to spend. So I, I'm I'm feeling like. I, is as much of it make kind of makes for like a throwaway first one. I think trying to get to rye cultivation is kind of the way to go. Rye bread is amazing. It is delicious. Yeah. Um. I think I will do that again not going to be able to use that right now but I still think it's the right way to go and it gave me a bunch of thingies right it gave me a bunch of um to start my my army so militia footmen militia spearmen whole yeah yeah it gave me spears so we could do spearmen there we go so at least that's there Strong Militia is paramount. Okay, yeah, we know this. Strong Militia is paramount. Damn straight, you fucks. So, what we need to do is get to level 2 in the houses. So that we can start bringing in the regional wealth as quickly as possible. Which means we need the church. And it means we need clothes. The clothes, I don't think, will be too uh, much of an issue. Because we have the hunter's camp. Which means we have some leathers. Which means we can have some clothes. And that means we do we do need to put the church in. What happened to Magnus Town? Uh, I decided to try the other start that was a little harder and kind of use Malernins and hope for the best. Is there a good place to put our church? Not there's not like a good hilltop, so I guess maybe well there's kind of a hilltop in these trees here. But we need planks for the church. We don't have planks yet, but that's okay. We're, we're working on houses. So right now, everybody's got a house. So the next house will be available for imports. Um, yeah, let, let's let them finish these, because I do think the church is the next thing we need to do. There we go. Come on, finish! Quickly! 
There we go. And then there's two more. Oh, I thought there was one more. There's two more. This one already had the, the goods delivered, so it's going quickly. Noise. Alright, so let's do the... So I need the, the what's it called? The, the plank, the planker? The plankinator. I'm gonna put the plankinator over here, I think. This is kind of turning into a more of a little industrial area. The plankinator is over there. And then once we have some, uh, the, the planks, we can start the church. Because I don't think I need anything else. Don't forget the manor. Um, I'm a small village. When do, when do I start that? So I can do that now. But I need... Is that clay? No, that's stone. I need stone. I don't have a stone yet. Bannock camp has been sighted. Feeble walls. Uh, to a point, yes. To, to an extent. I'm thinking later on in the full game, there'll probably be more availability for it. But yes, absolutely. Oh, and the fuel is low because I took the woodcutter out for a little bit. But we can bring him back in. But look at that! 13 months worth of food is pretty damn good. Could actually take the hunter off for a little bit. Because we're going to need a plant, uh, someone to plank. And we don't have any new people in yet. But people can move in. And I think probably once we get the church... The, for some reason, me and people love the churches. Once we get that built, I think we'll be we'll be good to go. Yeah, up a percentage, plus one. All right, but now there are some spare houses. Look at that, we have an egg. All right, generic storage ten. I think isn't that all I needed, or is it twenty? Uh, what what is, what is a church qualified as? Farming, residential. Uh, 20. Okay, I need 20. Set up the lumber limits at the firewood plankers just to stop them draining all your lumber. No, I haven't. No RimWorld? Uh, I wanted to play this today. Is there a way? Can you do that in here? Show workplace, general, storage, advanced. That's an area. Relocate. Or no, this would pro it would probably be something I would need to do over here. Advanced. Oh, that, that's the saw pit. Oh, I don't I don't need a livestock here. People, livestock, general. I know I could pause it. Oh, construction reserve. How did I never know that? Notice that that was there before. So like, let's make sure there's always fifteen. Cool. I think that's good. And this is, ayo, oh, it's going up. Num numbers go up is good. All right, G get me planks worthy of Mordor, please. I need 20. As soon, I think as soon as we get that church built, we're gonna be good to, well, uh, people will start flocking to my little crap hole. Also look at my little, my, 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 little, my little shield here. I put some effort into it. I think it looks pretty cool. Right, 20 planks. Build. Church. It's going at the crest of this hill right up here. So we're going to have to take down some, um, some trees there, but that's okay. I think it's nice. And here, what, what we're going to do is we're going to have... Kind of one go back this way, and then I'm going to have another one that's going to split and go this way as well. Cool. There we go. I'm going to name the town. Uh, let's see. How did I do that before? Right click. Oh, it's right here. Um, here, let's name the town. Vega, Ve Ve Vegas, Vega, Vegas. There we go. Vagalix. It's, it's Vegas. There we go. That's what we're sticking with. Did somebody move in? Yes, somebody did. We're up to six. So that was one more. I was like, that looks different. Low approval. Just wait till Jesus shows up. 
See how low my approval is then. Yeah, look at this. Two. We got two. Two. And I think these guys will do carry. Yes. Ah, fucking bandits. Oh, was that three months worth of food? Jesus Christ. The bandits are awful, and to my knowledge, other than just attacking them and killing them, there's no way to do it, to deal with it. Like, I don't think you could just put them, uh, put your stores, like, behind your walls or anything like that, and it does anything. Um, so, so prepare to get th shit stolen. <laughs> Alright. They're done in there. Uh, let's reassign someone to the granary so that at least there will be a stall for that stuff. There we go. Can you pay them? Nay. You just got to my knowledge, you just got to kill them. And right now I'm not in a, I'm not in a murder them sort of, sort of way. Not too concerned about food because we will be able to get, um, more food from the wild animals. Also, Jesus. Come on! Here, can we, um... Take a guy out of here to... Oh, another family actually just moved in, so you can go back. We're up to seven now. I think this, this church is gonna be either... Cool looking or entirely obscured, obsc obscured, I can word, by this forest here. Ah, there we go. Construction has started. Also, it, uh, unfortunately, we I did misplace it slightly. It's on the back. It's kind of on the back edge of the hill. I think the crest of the hill is more like over here. So it's, it is kind of hidden. Ah. Something about pride. Almost. So close. Two more, two more, two more rocks. And we're good. I think we have enough, right? Oh no, are we out? I thought I had enough. Oh no, someone's coming in, right? Yep, there we go. The manor should have the highest ground. All oh, right, even higher than Jesus. Hey, and there we go. Approval is starting to... Well, that's that's from food variety, but... There we go. Yeah, you cannot in the slightest bit even see that. Hey, but new families are already starting to move in. Woo. Uh, okay. So that's good. And uh, now if we want more families, we do need more space. Uh, but we can start doing is expand the living space, doubles the maximum family count in this plot, which is exactly what we'll do for these first three. And I have more families that I can start assigning around to. I always like to have at least one family on each of these. Uh, and then we definitely need the hunter back. There we go. And there's the snow. And I, what I want is in the spring to start farming. I want my first farm up in the spring. Oh, where was the farm supposed to go? I think it's right here, wasn't it? No, that's the ta that's the worst spot. It's over here. Okay, uh, barley. The only spot for barley is over here. So we're gonna need to make like a separate one right around there. And, uh, how about the military? We're up to 16. Okay, that's something. I need- I need some- some more meat for the slaughter. Now, we are gonna need- how, there was a lot of iron here, right? Yes, we have a lot of iron. We don't have a lot of stone, is what it was. We have some clay. That's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> Jesus brings all the boys to the yard. Oh, delightful. Surplus goods. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Surplus goods. Do you add entire families to jobs? Yes. You don't add, like, individual people. You add a family to work a job. So, like, one person in the family might be 
uh, you, you, you know, doing the manual labor, and then another person in the family might be working the stall at the market. All right, so now we have enough for 11. Some more people can move in. They can also have artisanal jobs. Yeah, so like if I assign a family to be the brewers, then that's their job. They just, they just brew. All right, tight, 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 tight. So we have Jesus. So now the only thing we need to start getting things to level two. Also, uh, how's the plank situation? 30 planks. Oh, that's good. Is clothing. So what I can do is... Uh, how do I... Early cloth do I need to do from here? Yeah, at the tannery. Okay, that'll take hide, turn them into leather. That's what we need to do. And then I'm going to put back here at the edge of the woods, I think. Yeah, right in there is fine. So the tannery will take the hides, turn the hides we have, uh, which we have 28 of them already, um, into leather, and then the leather can be sold at market. Right? I think. Yes, maybe. Did somebody else just move in? I have nine. Yes. Okay. Woo! And whoever whoever just moved in is going to end up being our tanner. We still have someone down here, right? Yes, we do. I'm going to need a forester down here as well. So I think that's the next thing we're going to put in is the forester. And just plonk him in right there. Good, good, good. You can kind of see the church. Maybe when the church gets taller. And uh, I think I will also upgrade the hitching posts we have. This will probably end up getting moved. So it's a little bit more centrally located. Here, we'll move it down here. There we go. So that we have one hitching post on one side and one kind of on the other side. All right, so we got three free families. I like to keep two for construction minimum. If, you know, I, if I have enough families. And we are at nine, so we have room for two more to come in still. All right, so I have room for another oxen. That's probably what the, the my first 20 bucks. Next time I get 15 bucks, probably gonna get another oxen. All right, Tanner, food situation's still fine. New family's moving in. Berries and eggs, that's all we're eating through the winter. That ah, punched my microphone, it's fine. We are at 10. So pretty soon, we should, we should get a clothing stall soon. Booyah. And then the clothing supply should be handled. And then we should be able to do some upgrades. And I need... I only need two for the next... Um, the, yes, this will work out well. So I need two level twos to get the next development point. That'll get me rye. And then I can immediately start planting large rye crops. Family assigned to the church. You actually don't need someone assigned to the church. Because the only thing that their only job is to dig graves, they don't, they're not, they're not, you don't assign the priest for some reason, which I really thought I would assign a family there, they would become a priest, and then I could see a little Jesus man walking around. Um, but no, it doesn't work that way, it's just grave digger, and right now I don't need a grave digger. Also, there is a bug with the church and the grave digger right now. Booyah, level two. Not here yet, though. Well, at least this one. They made off with some firewood. That's okay. That's not a big deal. All right, level two. I still want as many level twos as possible. But the the first two are the first two twos are important, especially because it's February, and I kind of need the farms up ASAP. 
by the spring. So this is gonna get me what I need. Another bandit camp. Oh, that one's closer. Uh, I'm thinking that once, do, do I have a, a, enough militia? I do have enough militia to go take it out. That might not be a half bad idea. Actually, well, it don't look like there's that many of them. You think we could go take them out? Yeah, let's get these houses built first. Hey, and another family just moved in. Wonderful. Cool. Tight, 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 tight. Come on! Hey, there we go. My, my, my chicken friends. Uh, we could at least get the farm plots put in right now, I think. This would not be a bad idea. Because we kind of need, um, we need, we need some place where we could grow barley. So, it'll just be this spot right here. Is gonna be our, our is gonna be the one spot where barley will grow, and then we'll hook in a bunch of others. Yeah, what if what, what if we start here and kind of go? Mm. Not gonna, not gonna be how I want it, but that's okay. Uh, I think right now, because we don't have that many families, I think right now maybe keeping it to a smaller number of fields, or smaller just field, would not be a bad idea. So we'll just do that for now. Uh, this one is just gonna be for now, just gonna be barley, and for now, there's gonna be wheat. Or actually, do we want to... We're going to have rice. We're going to have rice super quickly. I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? Why is my church on fire? How do I... Did... I don't see any bandits. Nope, they were in the forest there. Okay, they burned my church down already. I thought I thought we could see them, but apparently we're not allowed to see them. Kill! I do outnumber them. So I think I'll be okay. It's a shame to have lost the church, but we could rebuild it. They snuck right the fuck in there, too. I thought I would be able to see them approaching easier. Oh, now I need a corpse pit. This is gonna slow me the fuck down. Well, they're dead now. Ah, oh, this is really gonna... This is slow, gonna slow my ass right down. So, can I... I can rebuild. Does it cost the same to rebuild it? Uh, I need a, I need a corpse pit. I love that the corpse pit is considered residential, by the way. That's just kind of delightful. We just want to plop it back here somewhere. All right, bring out your dead. Uh, I do need the, the farmhouse in here as well. There we go. Well, 
Well, I didn't- I don't think I lost any people, I just lost my entire church. So, that's- that's gonna hurt, but... For now, let's get this- this built. So that I can focus on what's going on over here. Start stocking- start cut, storing up some barrels. For later, I'm gonna need them. I'm aware! <laughs> So that gets me my rye cultivation, and that means I can immediately put rye in here. And that'll stay as barrels. Okay. The next one is only five. Okay, I do need more houses. But uh, I do have the option of also, because that'll get me more, that'll get me another level two. Keep it coming. And let's just expand the living space on these ones. Just let's just make it some high density housing. So it doesn't look like I need to use more material. They just need to spend the time to reconstruct it. I can bring that back in. The forester's hut needs a guy. Cause we need we need more families in here too. Go for those duplexes, yeah. High density residential. I'm gonna. I know, I know. I got I got things. I want to deal with the bandits, but I got things I gotta deal with. I got a couple things. They burned down my church, and I've got a bunch of rotting corpses I need dealt with. This is the lowest priority right now, honestly. Let's make sure that gets done. And then, I think the farmhouse needs to get worked on so that we can get a farmer in there starting to plant the crops. It's April. How much, how much work does it make to, <laughs> make to make a pit? Also, thankfully, we have some regional wealth coming in now, too. So they did another level two plot is what they were working on. It was this one. Oh, the priority stays the same. Okay, good to know. That's why they were working on these. I thought the priority would reset. When you kind of finished a construction, but it, it stays so that it, you know, because I had these ones on higher before. All right, well, that's fine because it's, it's allowing more people to br uh, come in if they want to. Um, they also, the, oh, he's there. Farmhouse is complete. All right, assign someone, assign a farmer. Um, I'm running low on families at the moment. Here, you could, uh, maybe the tanner and the hunter can cool it for a second. I need someone to go bury some bodies and the other people to work on some construction. All right, also the new houses are all getting built. Great. I got 23 regional wealth. Some more bows. Start making some some bows, methinks. I think that's not a bad idea. Oh, uh, we ran. Oh, I just those people became artisans, which is why there's now no longer any people assigned for construction. Okay. Can I cool it on? Oh, you know what? I could probably cool for a bit. Is the um, the saw pit? You can you can you can lay off for a bit. Come on, I need Jesus back here. Hey, more families coming in now. Good. 
Others have been making money on bows. Well, I, I, I think maybe first I use them to shoot people. That's step one. And I need some more level one plots as well. Taylor or shield maker as well. Right now I have a very limited amount of family, so I kind of only got to do one thing at a time going forward. Um, so let's uh, let them finish the construction projects that are assigned right now. Uh, let's give one more family to the farm because that's going slowly as it is, and I, I kind of need that planted this season. Fucking church is taking forever! <laughs> Alright, God's back. <laughs> Alright, that makes me happy. Uh, let's see, so we got the Fletcher shop. This is just a chicken coop, that's a Fletcher shop. Um... Kind of tempted to just put in another chicken coop. Just to get another, uh, double my egg production. Hey, Dirty, how we doing? Okay. New, yes, new village. That's why I want another family over here, because this does take a while with plots this big. But, let's see. The woodcutter's working. You're working. Uh, the, the forester's working. The plank planker has been reassigned. We have a lot of berries. So that's a good thing. All right, and what do I need? So I need one more level two and two more level ones. So level two, and then we need a couple more level ones. So we need to put in some more, uh, I don't want to call it low quality. <laughs> Like that, and then I'll do another one here, and we'll just keep. I think, ooh, uh, yeah, just <laughs> one really big one. We made it a little bit thicker. Then each of them can have a thingy. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's fine. That's that that's a plant that's plenty. And that's a fair but that's a fair amount of construction there. Uh, the regional wealth coming in now is is a good thing. Also, the Fletcher shop. Um Can I thought I could tell them to make a specific amount of bows in here? Do, do, does it tell me up here how many bows? I already got 18 war bows. Okay, so let's let them make a couple more because I think about 20 is where we want to be. And then, uh, and then we'll probably tell them to stop. We got five months of, uh, of supplies. It's fuel right now. That's a little lower. All right, another family's going to the farm. Oh, also, did I upgrade the small stable? I did upgrade the small stable, so we maybe the next um, upgrade goes to another oxen to get three of them. Oh, I have another one over here. We can upgrade that. So that'll give me the level twos I need. And then these will get me... I just need a couple of these done, and I got the level ones I need. So that's a Fletcher. Eggs, eggs. At some point, we'll put some apples in. I'll, be, I'll make a, uh, I want to say vineyard, but no, orchard. Heavy plow next. I'm thinking maybe. That might, with because we have some decent farmland here, heavy plow might be a great idea. Uh, we've got 15 plus 8. Cool. Tight, 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 tight. Kind of going well so far. Other than the fact that my church burned down somehow. All right, the Fletcher, I'm going to ask to stop because they've been going 
They've been going at it for a while. Uh, timber is low. I think maybe... Oh, wait. I have 19 right there. Maybe it's just um, counting what's in storage and not what's sitting in here. Basic armor for extermination uh, purposes. Uh, I'm, th I'm leaning more towards the heavy plow. Stole some leather. I gotta kill. I do gotta kill some bitches. And I'm gonna make a archer militia. Beautiful. So that at least gives it gives me two units. And hopefully they'll fill out a little better once we get some more people moving in. All right. Every mad woman and child gets some weapons. So I I've seen a lot of people playing this that tend to align everything onto a grid. I just don't think it looks as good. Hey oh! All right, so the heavy plow enables oxen at the farmhouse for uh, significantly faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. I do think I want to do that. Because I can buy in. Can I buy an oxen straight into here? Or I can add the plowing station. It needs to be done first. Defeats the entire plot system. Uh, another Is that another bandit camp? Fuck, they're everywhere. Alright, there's a lot of bandits. Maybe this winter, we go out and deal with them. Main selling point is how organic looking. Yes, I agree! Everything just, you know, the way the plots are built just looks so cool. I definitely think that is a... A selling point. How to get more research points? Growing your town. So like right now, I need two more level two residences and three level three le residences, and I get another ducat. When you're playing Rimworld, probably this coming weekend. The fact that this kind of just got dumped in my email, and I really love the game, is why it kind of bumped Rimworld. Also, I'm still waiting for a couple Rimworld mods to update. Hey, Bilko, how we doing? I'm very much enjoying the game. Hey Ben, hope we're enjoying the game. So livestock, permanent livestock assignment. Okay, so what I can do is assign one of my livestock to work there, and then make sure we just buy in another, another. Do we want to just here? Let's spend the ducats on a horse, so we have a horse and some oxen. I don't know if there's any difference, but then want to check it out after watch the stream. It comes out in a couple. Days, I think. The 16th? I think it's two days. New mods for the next playthrough? Uh, actually, probably less mods in the next playthrough. Probably not more. Probably less. So, we have... Oh, can I? Okay, we have... Paige... The oxen assigned to work my farm. Hey, there she is! Look at her go! Cool. Taking longer to deal with the fields than I was hoping, but um, at least there's something growing. Yeah, it's not gonna get harvested till next year, but at least we got it planted and it's growing. And I have more families to assign now, too. Uh, is that, it also means the military is filling up a bit, which is great. So, we're doing better on food and fuel. That's great. Um, nobody in there anymore. For a second there, I thought the church had burned down again. I was like, fuck you! Okay, we'll swap these out because there's no more berries, but we can go hunting. The tannery can be stocked again. These guys are all good. All right, cool. Tight, 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 tight. Everything's coming up Millhouse. We're out of planks. So we need someone in here again. And when these are built, uh, hopefully some more people will move in and probably get... Yep, there we go. And what I was going to say is I would love it if we had another family on the logging camp. Start cutting down some more trees. Start the iron mine. Uh, I think that is 
that is probably next on my list of things to do. I do think so. Boom! Look how pretty the fields look. Maybe next year we'll get some more built. Uh, the iron mine, maybe we build that right now. No, that's, uh, we need a mining pit. Goes right there. Go. And there's a clay pit over here. Do we want to maybe take advantage of that as well? Like that. And it just swoops around the church there. Alright, we're up to about 50 people. That's that's some good progress. I think I got all the corpses thrown in the pit. Uh, they stole some hides. Actually, they stole the... F okay, that time they stole a fuckload of things. Or it may have been multiple bandits. So what I'm thinking is this, this winter... When people are a little more free is... Well, maybe we do it right now. Rally the people and go take out the bandits. Because we got a bandit camp over here. We really need to take out... Uh, horses only wor uh, work. Horses work at traders. Only sheep can be bought for husbandry. Goats only give pelts. Chickens only give eggs. Supposedly there is talk for animals in the future. I know uh, uh, if they will be there on release day. Uh, I know the goat thing. The hor the horses only being used for trade. I have not seen. I feel like a horse should be able to drag a log. Um, but if it can't, <laughs> so be it. Fuck that horse. But we're gonna go kill some bandits. I think I can loot them too. Apparently my effectiveness is very low for some reason. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass as I shoot these guys. So I'm going to play this defensively and shoot them. Is there effective? Maybe the, the long walk in the winter and the rain. The, ah, we already started killing them though, so. Should be fine, right? Can I... Now they're dying. And my effectiveness actually went up. Can I walk behind them and shoot him in the ass? Or just whip him with my sticks? Oh, they won't shoot into a melee, it seems. Oh, no, there, 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 there they go. Ah, there we go. And they got a clear shot in the ass. Okay, so you go there. You guys can immediately start heading home. Yeah, it was because they were running. Was the issue, I think. 143, that is totally worth it. Alright, now you just need to get home. Totally worth it. Oh, and one thing, you do need to refresh this for these to update. Yeah, you can run. There we go. Alright, that was good, because now I got a fuckload of regional wealth to work with. God damn it, what broke down this time? Burned down. <laughs> What was this? I don't know what you were. The tannery? Did it get struck by lightning? How do I deal with fire? <laughs> it's 
fine. It's fine. It's fine. Every Everything's fine. Um, I think what I would like is some larger plots built for, for like, vegetable gardens and the orchards. Also, it's raining! <laughs> Feel like that should fix the fire problem. Okay, um... So, we're gonna make some big ass plots. Big ass plots. Maybe over this way? Big, like th thick. Some nice thick plots there. Oh no, my rubble is on fire. <laughs> Seriously, I need more logs. Or you know what? Um, I probably need another ox is what I need really. And make sure someone's actually assigned to work the ox. Okay, rebuild my tannery. You think my manor would look good uh, right, right about here? I need planks and stone. Where was the stone? The stone's way over here. Look at him go! Oh, they're still working on these ones over in the corner. And more people moving in. Good, we need them. Yeah, right on the hill. Fucking music's a jam! I love it! This is such a good game. Such a good game. Uh, yeah, next year and next year. So we do it. We definitely. Maybe it's just because we've cut down so many goddamn trees. They need to move further to get to them. That's why it's slowing down our uh, timbers. We could do a bunch of chicken coops back there too. Actually, um, because a lot of these already have, we have the money. We could put some a bunch of chicken coops back here. Because we have the money now, so maybe a, yeah, a bunch, like four of them, like side by side by side. It gives me six chicken coops back here now. That that should be that should be eggs to keep us in eggs for a good good long while, yeah. What was that? I just I just heard I just heard a noise. Construction finished. That was over here. Do we want you to be... Do we want to... Here, put it one goat shed in. Because that is a steady supply of leathers. Or hides. Yeah, the eggs The eggs being continuous is great. And they come in through the winter, too. That is, that is really good. So this is probably going to be orchards. And then over here we might do some... Well, we got to put my manor in over here somewhere. Stole some firewood. I killed one. Where were the other ones? Because that one... Oh, they're both really far away. Alright, the tannery's back up. Okay. This is immediately going to get the extra living space. So more people can work back here. And then we're going to get the orchards in. More people, more orchards. And do we got the second oxen in? We do have the second oxen in now, too. Expanded living space. Expanded living space. 
on other creative plays the past three or four days. It's so good. It's like shockingly good. It's like, how did one guy make this? It's so good. Or just take a few years to grow. Yes. So it's a huge investment in the future. Also, which mining did they make? Oh, they got this mining pit done. That's the clay. Well, I guess we can start bringing in some clay. Probably not have someone assigned there forever. This is, yeah, this is one guy. And I, I think he had some part-time help. But one guy did the vast majority of this. Okay, so this is getting an orchard. Badoom. Was that this mining pit? Yep, okay. We're starting to get some iron coming in now, too. So these orchards, um, I think they take one year before they produce anything. And then after that, it's like the second year is okay, and then the third year is when they get their full... The, 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 the full appledge. And yes, he's been working on this for seven years, but... The thing to keep in mind is that is not an abnormal amount of time for a game. Uh, Helldivers 2. I mean, that was a team, and it's a bigger product, but that was in development for seven years. All right. Orchards. So we've got three big apple orchards in, worked by these families here. Uh, and we should be able... Oh, we need stone, though. Um... Mm, um. That that that's fine. I think it just need, I think this one just needs to be close. It doesn't. I think they can walk into the field and and use it. Um, although maybe we uh we have a a road. Actually, kind of liked it when it knocked into the, the edge there. I like having the roads all curly whirly, a little more natural feeling. Get early access or is out uh, early. I got um, uh, early access because uh, streamer privilege. Uh, I'm not ashamed to say it, um, but it is out in I think two days. It's fairly close. It's it's we're it's, we're, it's not that far away. All right, all righty, and I should be able to build my house relatively soon. Uh, the saw pit is saw piddling. There's enough timbers to work with, yes. Yes, cool, cool, cool. And I think I just need stone now, right? Yeah, I just need some stone now. 26, oh, I thought it was the 16th. I thought it was two days, not two weeks. Oh, fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's still not that long, but it's still. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everything's coming up, Mill House. This is looking nice. I like how this is shaping up. Uh, but soon. Okay, so we have the Warbos. Oh, maybe I should start thinking about making more weapons, though. That's what we should do. So we need to think about, we need our bloomers. This has been kind of my industrial area over here. So I think we'll put the bloomer in over here. Okay, okay. I will need a clay furnace. Soon-ish, I think. And then what we also need to do is start coming down this way. And it's some of the level twos are going to need job assignments. So, like, we need... We need, we need the blacksmith for spears and sidearms. So I will assign you to be a blacksmith. And then this guy makes shields, so you could be a jointer. So that does take some of the extra families out of the work pool, because they're artisans now. But I need that for the military. 69 people living here. Everybody serves, goddammit! Oh, and, uh, boop. Someone needs that. 
So these are all, these all have families living in them, yeah? Well, they do. Oh wait, no, those don't. These are not... Oh, I need, I need more people. Um... More clothes types? Would help. And, uh... uh, uh upgrading the church, which is stone and tiles. Can be done. Oh, the bloomer! So bring in the bloomer. Because that'll start giving us the, the what's it called to work with. And did we, did we assign someone to work down here? We did. And we, we assigned someone to work on each of the mines. And the stone cutter. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. Okay. All right. All is well here. Oh, we're not doing half bad. The egg supply is where oxen would be worth it. Right now we're at three. Total three unassigned two. Oh, that means they're unassigned in terms of they don't have permanent jobs. I think we're good on oxen at the moment. Oh, and I just thought this season we're going to get our food. I should actually make some more fields. Storehouse for excess weapon storage. Um, you can actually put it in here. Got to upgrade the pantry too. Not that we need to, really, but we could. Uh, what I definitely should do, though, Fletcher... The Fletcher has been paused at this point. The blacksmith uh, is making... Should be making spears before anything else. And the jointer should be making the large shields before anything else. At the moment. And so far, so good. Things are good. Windmill and oven, definitely. Windmill and oven are going to be needed in the near future. Uh, but let's take a look at the firm. Because there was plenty of extra firm land to go around. Look at, look at that delightful rye fertility. Uh, so what we're going to do is... To go like this, basically. Uh, or maybe do I want to start here? Yeah, probably do it more like this. Just fill that whole area in? No, I don't think I want to fill the whole area in. I wish you could have more more points. I want I want five points. Because if I want it to line up there, it takes the whole area, and that that spot kind of sucks. Ah, fuck it. There we go. And they're already at work. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, living space for 29 families, and that's going up. New families are moving in. It does look like we have people working the the orchards now. So, again, that's like a three-year investment, but there's people there, so that's good. Uh, and we do have all the construction. Stone coming in, timber coming in, planks coming in. We don't have any roof tiles yet, uh, but we do have clay. We have a bunch of clay sitting around. Uh, and the bluma, we have a someone assigned to the bluma. So let's, uh, we need the other industry thing. We need the, the roof tiles. I love how weird this little spot over here is. I'm just gonna actually leave it. Kinda weirdly. Kinda weirdly. Uh, we got a sidearm, but what I really need is more spears and more large shields. Your citizens is uh, still locked, by the way. 
Uh, I know I haven't gotten to tier 3 yet, but I'm assuming in the base game there's actually going to be way more stuff. <laughs> 159 days. 159 days. Cool. Tight, 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 tight. So we do need some more level 2s, which is fine. I'm perfectly happy continuing to upgrade some of these. Uh, so level 2 that one, and level 2 that one. That'll give us enough level 2s, and then we need to start worrying about 3s. Which is a little bit more of an ask, but it is something we need to be concerned about. Uh, and the placement of my windmill. Because, like, no, well, it's 95%. Probably the trees are in the way over here. And this is kind of where my house is going. I mean, it is 95, 97% effective right there, 98, 99 right here. Two reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Track their movements. Plenty of time to prepare. Look at that. Look at that. That's so good looking. Uh, I think we need another forager. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. They don't steal that much stuff. I'm not overly concerned. And the food supply is going down, but again, we've put big investments in food futures. So, like, we're gonna have a big yield of rye and some barley this year. And then next year, we'll have a bunch of this. And if anything, maybe... Wait, do I have what I need for my house now? No, I'm still... I'm low on planks. Oh, they're stealing all my... Pl those... those pl the, the jointers stealing all my planks. Gonna put the crops on rotation? Absolutely. Uh, uh, actually, next year, we're, do we probably just have it on wheat and then fallow? And then this one will be fallow and then wheat. And right now, that one's just barley. And we'll put in some more crops later, too. So far, so good. I need, I, I, I do want some vegetable gardens. That is absolutely something we need. Starting to get some iron, uh, some iron produced. Plenty of clay. Uh, I built the thingy, right? The clay furnace? Yes. So we need someone to start firing those. The bloomery is bloomerying. Everything's coming up millhouse. I think we're doing a little better than the last time I played. Rye for rye bread. Damn fucking straight. Oh, and we're gonna need the oven as well. Which is under farming. The oven will live back here. Cool. Clay. Yes, we have lots of fucking clay. And we have lots of fucking iron. So, like, we might actually be able to turn a, a huge profit just through, like, selling weapons. Which I would be perfectly happy with. 110, yeah. This all is gonna be done at the same time. We still have zero planks. Do we just need another person in here? Do I need more oxen for moving? I might need more oxen. I feel like I've already got a, a I've already, I got three. But I guess we could put in another one. We got some over here. Let's see, we'll put the other hitching post. So one hitching post is right there. Put the other. I can fit the other one right in my little industrial spot. I gotta afford some more oxen. Definitely worth buying more in the future. I agree. I absolutely agree. I think this game is gonna be amazing going forward. I think it's just, I think it's good and it's just gonna get better. Upgrade the hitching post to stables. I already did that on the other two. 
And honestly, right now, I think some things are getting slowed down by lack of pack animals. Like, there's just a fuckload of timber sitting in here doing nothing. Also, where are my planks going right now? I thought I paused everything that was using them. Because the Fletcher's not using them. The blacksmith doesn't use them. Right? Or does the blacksmith use them... ...as well? Does the blacksmith use them? Maybe. I'm plankless. Can I permanently assign livestock here? I can. So I assigned a a a livestock to the logging camp. And we brought in another livestock. Expect 20 to 40. I would expect 40, I think, is probably going to be the price point. That's my expectation. So food is still doing good. Uh, we'll have tons of bread for this winter, which is great. Oh, and there we go. We got another friend here. He's got... He, he needs he needs, a, he needs a guy. Here, make sure someone is assigned here. There we go. Now we got roof tiles now, too. So I'm just... I'm just low on planks right now, and... I think we're, we just need more plank. Just plank harder! <laughs> Lots of iron. And we could use some more families coming in too. I think it's going into making spears, right? It must be. Spears and shields. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I need more poor people. Oh, am I allowed? No. How? I don't know where. Okay. It's like I don't know where the. Where the line of exactly what's allowed and what's not is. I think that's pretty good. Do we we want to just cram them in? Like, yeah, we'll just crammy these ones on in there. Just jammy them on in. All right, I have some planks now. And I think I wanted planks for my house, right? It was my house? Yes! I'm going to live right here. And for now, that's the commitment, is I'm living right there. And then we'll expand the plottage around a bit. Uh, we got plenty of people to help. I'm gonna order in another ox. Reclusive Lord. No, I I need the people to know they're physically beneath me. I need to even even if the hill is very shallow, <laughs> I need to be above them physically. Right, crops are looking good. 17 days. Noise. And it's good that people are moving in because um, I very quickly am going to need people working the bread ovens. And we do have, yeah, okay, so I think we're making tons of spears right now. I think that's where most of the planks are going at the moment is the spears and shields. Look at these going up quickly, too. So these will probably end up getting um, a bunch of backyard workshops as well. Uh, I don't I, I kind of wanted to use this for my... That's kind of where I want some of my land to be. So we'll see how that turns out. 
And the military is doing okay. 30 and 30. We got 60 people we could send to war. Fog! And so forth. Uh, and then I need my level 3s to be able to get to the next development point. And for that, I need booze and a better church. And I need have everything but playing. Okay, I, whoever is... Okay, you just pause. Okay, you pause. I need planks, God damn it! Save up the damn planks! <laughs> oh, look, look, they're starting to get apple-y. Do I have apples? Hey, I got some apples! There we go, beautiful. We are a little low on fuel, so maybe another, uh, assigning another person to, um, where's the, the wood, the wood choppinator? Oh, there we go. Another wood chopinator. How's this doing? This is not as with a with an, a livestock assigned to this. It's not as backed up. So um, the uh, extra oxen definitely helps. Cool cider or vinegar? Not to my knowledge. I don't think that's in the game. I given the way this game is developing, though, I very much expect all of this sort of like normal medieval uh, like artisanal stuff to end up um, in the game like cheese and wine and all that sort of stuff need a fancy computer to run the game so I'm running it maxed out I have a pretty beefy rig and there's no stalling no stuttering or anything um, I played it uh, on my computer at work which is far less powerful and you know I cranked it to max and it lagged out and then I put it on medium and it ran perfectly fine. So I think if, if you're on kind of weaker rigs, as long as you're not trying to max out everything graphically, it'll be fine. 300 days. Oh, it must mean it's done right now. Okay, yeah, it's done right now. So let's make sure we got someone in here. We need someone in the oven as well so that we can start utilizing that stuff. Cause we got we got wheat and we got well we got rye and we got some barrels. We got some delightful barrels. People are moving in. Beautiful. I think we're probably gonna need either charcoal soon or another wood chopper. We're gonna easily put in another wood chopper. The bloomery is full. It's got iron sitting around. I mean, like, another family on the storehouse. Yeah, we'll put two more families on the storehouse in the granary. And this should be... Go... Okay. So, one of the problems I have found... Which is a little annoying, is that the farmers are in charge of hauling. But they won't do hauling while the crops need to be tended. So after the, there's a lag period after the harvest, bet before stuff gets to where it needs to be. Um, so like right now I need the, 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 the rye needs to be at the windmill, but the farmers are the only people who will haul it and, 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 and the miller will not. So we have to wait for the farmers to replant these fields before, the, before they're hauled, they will haul stuff. The fields need to go fallow for your... Uh, it's already set up. Oh, this one has not been set to fallow, but I just need barrel there. Sign livestock? I've already done that. Um, but the livestock doesn't work by itself. It needs the farmers to, to work them. And right now, the, it's plowing the fields. So I think that either the, the way it should work is like some people should haul and some people should farm. Or these people should be willing to walk five minutes down the road and grab the... Grab the rye, because as it stands right now, they're sitting there with nothing to do just because it, the, the farmers won't haul. Not a big deal. Slight annoyance. All right. And we should... Seriously, where the fucking planks? Where are my goddamn planks? I unlock... Oh, I unlocked policies. Uh, but... Okay, that does nothing. But right now we only have these two. 
which um, wild animals on rich deposits breed um, breed breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops, which we absolutely cannot do. And this is just people get sl they we, we we the only policy. Wait, wait, no, there are more now. No, these are all locked. Never mind. Work in progress, all locked. So it's only these two. Sawmills cut their own trees. No, they don't. Are you, are you thinking of the, the woodcutter? The woodcutter cuts their own trees. So you could assign a, a, a work area for them. What's the production tab? Uh, right now it's nothing. Stable's not soft, but... No. You can assign a permanent livestock to it. But you can't... They, these guys don't chop their own trees, I don't think. Because, like, the, these ones absolutely do, which is why in the advanced tab you could assign a work area for them. But the saw pit absolutely just uses the timbers. Oh, you know what? This this is also this should be higher, I think. They can only ever store one log, which means that when they finish a log, they have nothing they can't immediately start working on another one. Which means they need to go immediately go get another one. Oh, I'm sorry, Penny, hang on. Penny wanted to go see Leah. Been hearing complaints. There are I, there are some things that are like, oh, this could be better and that could be better. But generally speaking, the game's great. This is, I think, one of the bigger issues. That only farmers will haul the stuff out. That is a big issue. Because the, the food has been harvested for months now and we haven't been able to use it because the farmers aren't done with the fields. As soon as they finish with the fields and, and they say, I'm done, then they will start hauling the stuff and we can start making bread. That I think is kind of a big issue. New families, good, 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 good. Things are going well. Also, we do have planks, yeah. It was just that all the planks were getting used and the plank production's really slow. We could probably increase it by assign permanently assigning livestock to it. That seems like a huge, huge issue though. Or what I could, would probably be more efficient is instead of having two people working one, have one person working two. Cause, cause I think that would probably be, uh, probably be more efficient. It's it's after they harvest the fields they start uh, tilling again even though there's not enough time for second harvest. That is the exact same thing though. It doesn't matter that there's not enough time for a second harvest. Just the way the game works is, if it, they will operate the field as long as it's not set to fallow and then the field just won't grow until the next season. It's that if there is any work to do in the fields, period, bar none at all, they will not do any hauling. And, I mean, the problem could easily be solved by this asshole hauling. Hey, Mordred and friends. If the guy in the windmill would just walk down the road and grab a sack, we would be fine. But he won't. So we have to wait for these guys to finish this, uh, the, the planting, and then they'll do it. Uh, but the storehouse is full. Which means we should update, upgrade that, and we'll do the granary while we're at it. So I think what I will do, though, is to increase plank production... I think it would be better to do it kind of a, in a silly manner like this, where we just put in a second one. Uh, short term ramps would be smaller fields with more hands. Well, I mean, yes, reducing the amount of work and increasing the amount of hands will 
will get them to do the hauling faster, but it would also mean I'm producing less food with more people. Like, in this situation, it's not that big of a deal because I have enough food in store to kind of get me to the next bit. Um, so, you know, they'll, they'll finish up here and then they'll start moving the stuff around. So, there we go. They've, they finished with the field and now they're saying we'll do the other work. And now we have flour and then the oven will get its stuff and it'll start breaking bread. It's just kind of a silliness with hauling. It's that, that's all it is. Kind of a, a bit of silly hauling shenanigans. Oh, uh, I think I have everything I need for thickening my church. I do. Bandits just stole a fuckload of shit. Check my DMs. Uh, what's up? Uh. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we're gonna thicken up my church. Maybe, maybe this season we go take out some more bandits as well because. They just stole a fuckload of iron. Did you figure out a fire? Is it, is it simply more wells around it? Uh, definitely not that, because the wells are just for getting drinking water, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and the thing just burned down, and then we rebuilt it. And we have bandits. Oh, we have bandits coming in 112 days, so we should wait on them. We have bread now, right? Yeah, we have a bread. Delightful. We have a bread. And this season's apples should be should be thick. Uh and I have enough barl. Okay, so we can work on level three houses now too. I have enough barley to matter. Also, what about my house? Can we do anything with my house? So we could do the um the garrison tower. And it just, oh, it just, oh, you can snap it. I could just snap it right to my goddamn house. Fuck it, A, right there. The tax office is um, just cosmetic for now. But we want this in here. There we go. And an outer tower. At least um, a couple of these. Or maybe maybe a little bit over here lear. And one of these uh, over there lear. There we go. And then another one over here. There we go. Cool. God damn it. Never mind. So another thing I wish I could do is that when I overcommit like I do just here, I wish I could still say, hey, I want to build that. Instead of just saying, no, you can't build this. It would be better if it just said, yeah, and then we'll bring the resources later. Which is, is actually kind of weird because it some buildings in the game, you can put down if you don't have the resources and then they'll bring them. And some you can't. So this is between this game and RimWorld. In this game, Ben abuses miners and RimWorld, Ben abuses miners. Ah, that's actually a pretty good joke. Construction of the second saw pits in, so we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna increase my, my logging and increase my forester as well. Cause we are really, uh, we're really taking down the trees. Can also move the logging pit. Or the logging cam, that is. 
All right, so far so good. So an another thing we need to work on ASAP. Oh, I got my retinue now too. <laughs> uh, is booze. So I need the malt house. So we'll put the malt house in over here, and then I need the the tavern. Probably in the right in the middle of town. We walk around. Uh, so that's where the tavern's going. This is just, this is just kind of the main drag here. That's the market up ahead. These are the new houses. These are some of the nicer, older ones. Oh, and there's the orchard. I should be able to see my house. Yeah, there's my house. Off in the distance. Hey, peasants! Get away! Get off my yard! There's the well. There's Paige. The oxen. Market. And then if we head down this way, this is kind of more of the industrial area. My orchards. And then there's the farms out. So that's the that's the pantry or the granary on the left. Storehouse on the right. This is where all all my industry happens. Very advanced. Yeah, here those are the that doesn't look like too much, but those are just my fields. I like that it even has the ladder and this little tiller for moving it around. Although it doesn't actually move with the wind, but it's cool that it's there. All right, 56 barrels. That'll keep me in booze for a little while, I think. That'll keep that'll keep me that'll keep me boozed up. I need I need timber to last. Oh, you know what I should do is, um, say I want more, okay, so I think it's shift, shift. I want 50. Construction reserve, 50. I need, I need more timber. Like, maybe another, here, let's just do this. Uh, let's relocate this. Uh, where do I not care about the forest? Kind of care about it over here. Maybe we just move it up hit the hill, though. Up this way. There we go. Yeah, do that. Alrighty. So, the tavern's under construction. The malt house is done, so we need... We need a malter. Well, I... How do I have negative one bread? How did I negative one bread? I don't know how I managed that, honestly. All right, the logging camp's back in. Did it save the people? No, I have to reassign to people to work there. Uh, I think I have to reassign the livestock too. Do I want more livestock? I feel like there's never enough livestock. I feel like I need more animals all the time. Oh, and we need a, we need a tavern keeper. Boom. All right. Uh, so what else do I need for a level three? So tavern and another supply of clothing, which means I think somebody needs a a shoe a shoe shop. Shoes. Okay, we're gonna start making shoes. Also, did my church get upgraded? Hey, the church got upgraded. Uh, still not taller than the trees, bitch. Where's your god now? I didn't like. It's on. I meant to put it on the top of the hill. I didn't. I didn't get it on the top of the hill.
Oh, you know what? It looks like they, they get mad w going through the the trees. So maybe it's better... Oh, God. It's so far to go. Maybe it's good to keep them not walk, not going through the trees so much. Oh, my God. It's such a fucking... It's such a haul to get anywhere. I have raiders in four. Oh, I do have raiders in 40 days. Thir yeah, no, no, you're right. You're right. Go back, go back, go back. Let me just disband that. That's my bad. I got guys coming soon. I got, I got guys coming. All right. Uh, also, now I have zero free families. Did I assign literally everybody to everything? Maybe, you know what? We could probably lay off of a couple of, of like, the mining tasks right now. Because we have those guys doing a ton of shit. At the moment, free up those families. I'm 122. Food is still the biggest thing, uh, but this is going good, and I do have enough money to uh, invest in more food production. Because what we can do is just put in a load of chickens. All you guys get chickens. Chickens for every man, woman, and child. There we go. I expect lots of eggs. This is industrial chicken production. Also, uh, we are just missing the tavern now. So let's take a look. Clay furnace, malt house. The malt house is working. Oh, I haven't made a brewer yet. That's what it is. Somebody needs to be a brewer. Ah, oh, I spent too much of my... Ah, I'm poor because of chickens. We just gotta, we gotta wait a month and then we'll, we'll the regional wealth will go up and then I could get a brewer. It's fine, it's fine. So we got another barley crop here. Uh, we'll put crop rotation on and let it go fallow and then probably do a rye. And the raiders will be here any second now. Let's make sure we get our brewer in, though. Right near the tavern. Now, do they show up on top of my face? Or what? Or do they pop in? We'll see in one day. Okay. So they're way out that way. So I just need to keep an eye on them as they move. So I'm gonna walk all the way out there. What year is it supposed to be? Uh, Middle Ages? Just curious where you got chickens. I mean, wouldn't chickens be fairly easy to get in Europe at any given time? Chick chickens aren't a new world crop, are they? <laughs> Alright, they're coming this way, but I got a few minutes. Plenty. Okay, yeah. The plank production went through the fucking roof. Okay, so yeah. That's how you get planks. Let's actually... Fire one saw pit. Instead of assigning two people to one, you assign one person to two. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're there. Okay, should we should we rally the troops? Let's see. Let, let's see what what Google says.
Oh, no. Chickens have been around in, in Europe since... Greece. Ancient Greece. Since... since for, for, for a very long time, yes. Okay, there they are. They look like they're just gonna come straight through the woods here. You know what? The trees are gonna get in the way of my archers, yes? So we, we move back this way then. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, they disappeared into the woods. Ah, no, never mind. They disappeared out of the woods. Why is it always fucking raining? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Nay, 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 nay. Friendly fire mode. Nice. I love it. Okay, they're almost in range. Any day now. All right, go in there, start murdering. Oh, I saw a guy fall. That feels, that felt good. No, I, I already see they've lost a bunch of guys. Oh, am I gonna need to bury all these bodies? That's a lot, that's a lot of people to have to bury. Stab, stab him on the way past. Feel free to shoot him. Come on, lad. All right. Murder, murder, murder. Now. Murder, murder, murder. Do we, do we, cause we're already assembled, do we march these men all the way the fuck over here? Effectiveness is very low in the woods. Also, they need to stop running. Yeah, so it's effectiveness is bad in the woods. There's so many bandits. And they're in these little, I, I need to like, they're in these little groves of trees here. I need to save up my energy. Claim the land. Oh, I can claim the land next to me now. Effectiveness is bad because they're tired. Well, I mean, it's very clearly uh, 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 affected by the woods as well because the second I walk into the woods, it goes down. Yeah, it went down as soon as I got into the woods. But I also saw some guys right here. Yep, 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 yep. All right, go get them. I outnumber them two to one. We can murder them. Hey, okay. Now I just need to clear the camp. They can run it to get that one. There we go. 
Send resources to the town. Did I disband the archers? Um, I think. I think. Yes. 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 Okay, so one camp down. And now we're gonna campaign over to this camp over here. That's a huge investment in time and uh, in time for my men, but I need to do it. Eggs and apples. Wait. Oh, get fucked! Get fucked, you sons of bitches! You fucks! Stealing all your wealth. <laughs> Go back over. Then into the nearest town. All right, and walk the guys over here. All right, so I could claim. I wanted to claim this area here. Press a claim on that region. Okay. Uh, and we have a buttload of regional wealth now. Add it to personal treasury this time. Well, that time I specifically wanted the regional wealth. Uh, do I do I have? Oh, where's my is my brewer not brewing yet? No, oh, no, they're starting. They're starting. It's starting. Need that tavern supply is what we need. All right. Um. And I did start mo marching my guys into the wrong direction. These guys are going to be campaigning for fucking ages. So I think what the idea here is, is I'm gonna I'm gonna just have them wait right here and let them rest a bit, and then we'll go take out the last bandit camp. This mechanic I don't love that we have to spend all this time marching people all over the place to take out these little bandit camps. I feel like a better mechanic would be if we could like uh, defend my just, just make, make it harder for them to steal my shit. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Cool. And we're going to start a... Uh, I was going to say a farming village there, but I don't know if it's going to be... Farming is going to be the most important thing. I think it's going to be hunting. But there was good farmland there, too. Food production, basically. Alright, it's mine now. Alright, now... Go the fuck home. There we go. So, if I want to send some town... Oh, it's too exp- I still don't- I need to start taxing people. What's stolen from by who? Where? God damn it! <laughs> I just cleared that motherfucker out twice! <laughs> Soon as I turn my back, more bandits show up. You fucks. All right, all right. I see how it is. Why is my tavern supply not not going to these people across the street? Oh, they're saying that they lack an, an extra food type now. They only have eggs and apples. Um. Why is the forager not gathering berries? Wait, the granary is empty. Hmm. 
Why why are you not working? Maybe they're there. Oh! What if I do this? <laughs> Send someone else out there, right? Probably out campaigning. Seems like something your family could help with, though. Alright. That's probably it. So I think if we get some berries burying, then we'll be good. Uh, and unfortunately, we ate through all of our all of our bread. So we're just, just apples and eggs. Hey, at least that's keeping us in food. Oh, you know what? Some big ass vegetable farms would, would really be useful here too. Absolutely some big ass vegetable farms. All the way. That is enormous. All right, we're bringing in veg. And the berries are being picked now. Good, okay. Well, we absolutely do not need two on here. We just need to get those berries to market. And then we should be okay to upgrade these to level three, because they got everything they need except for those, except for some berries or bread. That's all that's missing. All right, and it should be getting distributed. Well, I go, we have eight. The only thing in, in, the, in the granary is ale. Man, these guys are really stockpiling their fucking apples. We should get an apple crop in sometime soon, too. Is it, is it a crop of apples? I don't know, it feels, uh, like you say it was like a big crop of wheat. Feels strange when it's fruit? Sounds, it sounds simultaneously right and incorrect at the same time. Come on, where are those berries getting off to? All right, well, these are gonna get vegged. And we absolutely want the extra families moved into these. So there's more people to work the crops. A harvest, that sounds better. Food stall. Come on, you fucks! No, veg, more people. Yeah, this is all gonna be my 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 vegetable town, vegetable town. New families are moving in too. It's only five. Well, it'll be more families because we're having the little outhouses built. A gang of apples, an apple gang. And there are berries, there are, there are three types of food now. It is August, so not a great time for planting veg, but you know, they'll get, they'll get started. Oh, we got some meat coming in as well. Come on! And we can upgrade some more of these to twos as well. These could all be twos easily. Not that we need that right now. And the veg again next year. It's coming together! It's really coming together. I'm very pleased. So these are all set. And now veg on that one. Cool. 
So, apples. Pantry is full. Well, maybe you should take all those apples and put them in the granary. Maybe I need more people working the granary to haul the stuff appropriately. Let's go to four families in the granary. Maybe that'll help. Come on. <laughs> Distribute the food, damn it! The meat and berries! Once they distribute the food, then we'll be okay. Goats for meat. Uh, the goat- the goats only provide hide in this. They do not provide meat. Alright, these have all been moved in. They're starting to work the- the veg. I could buy in some food. I hate to buy in food at this point, though. Wait, wait, level three! Level three! Level three! A core of apples. There you go. I like that one. No, I haven't set up a trading post yet. I haven't I haven't needed one, so I've been kind of ignoring it thus far. But there we go. We got the food distributed correctly, so now we got the level threes coming in. Cinnamon for crop would be harvest. Yeah, that would work. Oh, look how cool it looks! Look how good that looks! Oh my god. Such a visually appealing game. Does upgrading the houses improve anything? Uh, more people can live in them, and they provide uh, more in regional wealth. So it makes you more wealthy. Go goats should be fucking meta. Cheese, milk, hide, meat, debauchery for some. Have pastures for meat or just game? You can have sheep herds, but again, they only provide wool. You can't eat them. Taxing and tithing? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, I need- I need- uh, I, I got rid of like all my twos, so I need to upgrade a lot of these to twos as well. But that'll be easy. Oh, I need more wood. I just spent a fuckload on- uh, of my timber. But, we have our logging camp. Wait. Oh, it doesn't count the stuff that's in here. I have- I have- Oh, I thought I added a permanently assigned livestock here. Oh, now I do. Now I do. Claim a third area. I think I can, but I haven't even utilized the second area yet. Um, and I think I need to start. I need. I need to start making some cash. So I need. How, what percentage of surplus food is given to the church in return for influence? All right, I'm just gonna do a 10% tax. Very small amount of tax. I need a little bit of wealth here. You're just showing surplus, not total. Uh, yes, I only want to see surplus because I don't want to see what's just sitting in people's houses. I want to see what I have extra left to divvy out. Sign a work area for the lumber yard so they not encroach on the hunting area. Uh, yeah, definitely, but I don't think they're going to get close enough for that to be a problem. Also, I don't even know if deforesting the area would get rid of the animals. I, if you try to build in that area, the animals will go away, but I don't know if deforesting it will. It might, might not. I haven't actually tried that. And it is November. Thinking next season as well. Um, more crop. Actually, maybe we have so many unassigned people right now. Maybe we start putting down some more crops as well. Because there is more uh, decent farmland out this way. Starting to uh, encroach on the forester's land, though. So, let's see. Um, I think, even though it's going to be low, I think I'm going to put in a, a barley. 
And then I'll allow them to rye and then fallow. I just need more barrels. I absolutely need more barrels. Oh, and we uh, we talked about it before, but that never ended up doing anything about it. I need another woodcutter. I think I'll just put that down this way. Next to the corpse pit. There we go. That's fine. I need, yeah, I need all, all sorts of barrels. The barrels make fun. We have plenty of level threes, but I landed out of level twos, which is funny. Barrels of fun. Okay, so this one is already a two. This is a one that can go to two. Um, the lack of uh, food variety is kind of problematic. It's not a huge problem because it is something that's going to be solved. Uh, we have lots of eggs, we got lots of apples, and the bread comes in sporadically. Like, it comes in all at once and then goes away. Um, and next season we'll have plenty of veg. Actually, do we want to just max out the farmers? Let's max out the farmers. Because that's that is a lot of land. Vegemite, oh god. The horror. Look at look at this row of cool looking medieval houses though. This this is where the fancy pants people live. And that's where the eggs are made. Like you can't even see past the, oh, that's that's not finished. <laughs> Sorry, that one's not done. That one doesn't look completed either. Build wall. You can build walls. I don't know how um, efficient building them around the city is going to be. It is possible, but it would cost like an absolute fuckload of materials. All right, how are we doing? We're at six of seven for the level twos, and we got some more coming, so we're good. Yeah, a lot of these are not finished. That one's not finished. That one's not finished. And they're, okay. So now we de we get to decide where we want this next point. So we went to rye cultivation. So we, we focused entirely up here. Um, produces bread from flour with twice the efficiency of the communal oven. Well, that might be a really good thing. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I've never actually experienced a drought, so... Uh, don't know if I care that much about that. We could do honey. Just have another source. But I kind of like the idea of doing the bakeries. Efficient, uh, efficient baking sounds like a great idea to me. I think we'll do that. Uh, and then what we can do is we could ditch the oven. Just demolish it. And then I think all of these have jobs. And I need it needs to be level two to upgrade. Uh food and fuel. Yeah, we're low on fuel. So woodcutter's lodge. Let's get more of that going. Honey equals me. No meat in the game. Only only ale. Switch out a chicken coop. Actually, yeah, I could do that. I've got a chicken coop here. These this could be a baker. There we go. Switch out one coop for for the bakery. That's a good idea. Where's the? Uh, oh, they gotta build it. Yeah, come on, let's get that there. We go. that's a bakery. Okay, okay, they got a little oven out here. I don't know what that's for, but that's a bakery now. So everybody that lives here is a baker. But now I, now now those people don't have jobs. So uh, I think I'm gonna need to pull some of those farmers out, so we have constructors again. Cause we still there's still a fuckload of construction that needs to be handled. And I only need three more level twos. I need seven more level threes, but some of them are un under construction right now. Okay. Uh, and they're already making bread, which is great. 
Oh, they are crank- my god, those fuckers are cranking! There, there are a lot of people living in there. It's a lot of bait. One, two... That's four families? Four families are bakers now. About half filled to the marketplace so far. Yeah. It's going good. I do wish there was a better- I, I feel like there should be a better way to get meat. May maybe it's stuff that needs to be unlocked. Maybe it's stuff that, you know, there's- a We're only playing a fraction of the game right now. There's much more to come. So it could be that. For the settlement camp was too fitty, I believe. And then I think I come over here and I go, like... I don't know what any of this... Like, I can't click on any of these and it doesn't say... I, I'm assuming it's just things that are, like, not available to me because they're not unlocked. Um, starting supplies... Uh, we could wait a little while and send them more early access. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, how does this compare to Ostriv in your opinion? I haven't actually played that one. I have been watching it, but I haven't played that one, so I couldn't make a fair comparison, I don't think. Don't do it in winter. That's a good idea. Maybe do it in the spring. That's, prob that's probably the way to go. Do it in the spring. So we don't need someone working the clay furnace right now. Uh, we don't need someone on the bloomery at the moment either. We got 130 iron slabs sitting around. I could use more leather, so we could maybe use a couple more goats. I think I have some free spots where I can put some goats. So I am going to do that. I'm going to bring some more goats in. Two? Two goats? Two goats. And which of these fields, so this one, this is fallow this season, but this is going to be wheat, and this is fallow. Ugh. I need another crop that's not, an, another another area that's not fallow this season. Um, so let's put a third one down. A third or a fifth, technically. Keep going this way. I got plenty of people to work it, so I'm not super concerned. Oh, probably don't want to get... Maybe we keep some of those trees. There we go. There we go. So that way there's another crop to, um, to operate this coming season. Classic Swedish spring weather outside right now. Yeah, dreary. I love it. It's gray. It's rainy. It's cool. It's perfect for me. I love it. Also, um, I want to make one more house. Oh, it didn't, it didn't snap the way I wanted it to. Okay, it's doing the thing where it doesn't want to snap correctly. All right, so rotate it. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me put one house in right here. You kidding me? Okay, if I do that, it will. But if I do this, it won't. So where's the limit? I oh, wanted like one big ass plot right here. There we go. So that that is gonna be, that's that that's gonna be primo spot. You're not a Florida man. I'm from New York, and I fucking hated Florida, <laughs> and everything about it. All right, food is a little low, but that's okay. Again, investments in the future. The veg will provide this season, and we are going to have, I think. This is going to provide a fair bit. Wasn't there a lot of berries? 
No, there's a, there's a lot of wild animals over here, and I think the farmland was good. So, I don't know how it works. Can I just, like, have these guys make a lot of food and send it over? I'm assuming? I haven't actually figured that bit out yet. But look at how cool this looks! Fuck okay, it, we still working on the construction, too. Yeah, we just need the logs. I think we might actually do need, um... More... Hauling. Did you start streaming first, or work at Paradox first? I was streaming for... So I started making YouTube stuff in, what, like 2015 or something like that? And then I started streaming in 2018, I think it was. And then I started working for Paradox in 2020. Pack animals will move resources between regions is what I've heard. Okay. Look at all the veg. Yes, this season you will produce, you fucks. Because we need, definitely need more, a lot, we need a lot more twos, so a lot more. Whoa! That, that, that fluctuated down to zero for a hot second and it scared the crap out of me. Oh, we are, we do have vegetables coming in, that's good. Okay, so there is some veg. And let's see, um, we, w in 150 days, we will have two, uh, a, a wheat crop, a rye crop, and a barrel crop. Okay, so do we want to try, try this now? Construction, um, settler camp, right at the top of this hill. Okay. So then we start trying to get these guys up and running. So, um, yes, murder the forest. Um... And then we'll have a road come past the tavern here. And up this way. Cool. Oh, I, I'm accident- I do that all the time. I accidentally make those little nubs. we go. Cool. Have I gone to a football slash soccer game here yet? No, I have not. I haven't. So we need logging camp. We're, I think we're going to get a lot of wild animals from this one. I do not know how, like, the regions interconnect with each other, really. We're going to figure this out as we go. Also, theoretically, I could build them right up against each other, so it looks like one big town. Alright, that's already done. So, one of you... Wait, where's the thing? Where, where did I put it? Start there. And then... Uh, somebody needs to start hunting. Immediately. go cool, cool cool um i mean we can't have someone grab the berries as well so that's fine and for now you keep working while we go back over here this is still something i think is super cool the fact that this um map updates dynamically as you build things God, they're fast over here. Hunting camp, a sign. Well, I guess when you don't have any other work to do. A little bit of stone over here, but not much. But we just want to make sure these guys are kind of self-sufficient in their little village before we mess around too much. 
So they have two sources of food coming in. And they have their their logging camp. Um, we have timber over here so we could start some small houses. Which I think we'll start right here. And then rotate. Boom. Get that started. And then come back over here. Veg, some veg, some berries, no bread, eggs, and honey. It's like the farmland. Oh, the farmland over here was great, if I remember, right? Uh, here. Barley. So we're going to have so much barley over here. This is all going to be farmland. So what we're going we're gonna to make this kind of self-sufficient. And then it's just going to start cranking out food. Is what we're going to do there. We're going to have so much barrels. We're going to we're going to have barrels of barrels. I don't even we don't even know what we're going to do with that many. We start upgrading some of these to level 2s as well. It's not going to because we do need more of those. Oh no. That's bugged out a little bit. The fence, well, I guess technically not bugged out. They decided to build the fence there. I was hoping it would uh, along the road a little bit more. Barlton or something. Uh, okay, it's a little weird. That didn't show up at first. Okay. Uh, Barlingham. Ten. Just, just you wait, you bastards. You're gonna have so many barrels. What's that coffee mug? Could you be more specific? What coffee mug? I have a coffee mug right here. It had coffee in it. And we do need... Plus level three. Does, oh, these have not finished construction. Fuck me. Why have they not finished construction on these? Okay, so I think that's why. It's because those ones were paused. Okay, that that's that's not an ideal situation. So the pause is supposed to be there to stop them from making items, but it also pauses construction. Oh, kind of. The fact that that those two things are on the same button, I don't love. Hey, we increased Barlingham. Okay, so you guys are gonna, you're definitely going to do, like, uh, what is it, this one? Doubles the amount of meat harvested from hunters, because we got a, we've got a, a, a nice rich deposit. So, it's gonna be probably these two. Advanced skinning, doubles the amount of meat heat bar harvested from hunters and butchers. And then it'll be, uh, some farming stuff. But for now, tons of meat over here. Oh, uh, there's some other things these people need, too. To not be dead. Like water. Oh, where's water? Ah, fucking balls! The closest source of water is all the way down the hill. Um... They're going to need their own little marketplace. That's fine. Okay. Uh, give them a couple more houses. go. Some more people live in here. And uh, we're also going to need the granary. 
and a storehouse. Cool. Sold 10 pairs of fucking boots. The bandits I fucking hate, because the only way you can get rid of them is to march all the way across the goddamn map, which is a whole fucking campaigning season, and, and go punch them. But th th then they spawn right behind you as soon as you walk out. Which is annoying. They just spawn right back in. Alright, and how much time is on this? 77 days. That's not bad. So these three crops are coming in. Nice veg here. Um, you're going to get an expanded living space because we have it. It's your retinue for band whacking. Um... Okay, so that's not a bad idea. I, I could, I could high, I could increase my retinue and then go whack them off with my, with my band, with my, my personal bodyguard. How do I, how do I, how do I, do I, can I just pay? Recruit men in arms for 50 from the treasury. How much do I have in my treasury? It doesn't say anywhere on this screen. That's important information. <laughs> so I've got... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It did say, it did say. No, not months. Castle Planner. Hang on, hang on. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> no, no, no! It's there. Okay, so... So that gives me nine. It still needs to be more than that, but I need I you guys need to start paying some fucking taxes. Can I put in the um Just cuz it looks cool, I want to put that in. I didn't need that right now, but it looked cool. Ban the word the? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, everybody's okay over here. Good numbers. How are we doing over in this area? Mm, I have to think too hard about what I'm trying to say now. Fuck. Pet cam? Uh, I don't have a pet in here right now, but I'll get to that shortly. Give me, give me a mo. Here, let's. Okay, that's uh, that's all fine. Everything's fine over here. Everything's fine. Food situation is good. It's mostly eggs. <laughs> it's mostly eggs, apples, and some assorted others. I like that this one is like like attached to my house. What's the resource icon in Barlinghampton? The one that's that's gold. The resource icon over here. Oh, this. That's clay. Oh, maybe that's what people were asking what the mug is a couple times. Oh, I said the. Fuck. Mug is a couple times. Clay deposit. Is what it is. Clay deposit. Alright, we got houses moving in here. Okay, also, we probably are, 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 are going ham on planks now again. Because I gotta pause the Fletcher shop. Fuck! Pause Fletcher shop. Pause the black. Fuck! Pause all you guys. Because they were starting to make a bunch of things again. Alright, you're maxed out, you're maxed out. Cool. Alright. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Crops are good. Picked a rough word. Yeah, you did! <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, construction finished well. Good. Yeah, the hides are okay. I could use more hides still. So let's, let's go. And go. So, more goat. So, that's like Goat Alley. 
Uh, Bandit stole 15 pairs of boots! Those are expensive! Sons of bitches! Okay, okay. Be a death merchant? I'm okay with that. Shouldn't you be murdering all these animals? Okay, you are. Uh, the food stall's set up. Oh, we need firewood over here. Which is a choppity chop. Put that over here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. It's city walls. I can't build city walls. Apparently, I'm struggling just for the... Fuck! Timber. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done with that. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Just for the timber on this damn thingy here. Uh, plenty of people to work though, so I can assign more people to various things. We can have a. Well, we have one person on the saw pit. Part of me is thinking maybe for the, um, the 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 timber because it seems hard to get a lot of timber in. Maybe you just, again, need more of them instead of more people working and win. Yeah, Adam, you win. Absolutely, you win. Okay. But they're stealing my shoes because that's all there is to steal. It's the only, like, finished good I have. Alright, we still need more food types. But we're doing okay on veg. It's good to have some of that coming in. This is such a huge... It's funny that this is such a big plot, but it's not, like, deep enough. Pick fuck next time. Oh, that'd be a hard one, too. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe... Because I haven't tried that yet. Maybe putting in more oxen is the way to go. Wait, didn't I build a third one of these? Small stable. That's already taken up. So we have... We have three. Let's go for four. Let's do that. Trade between settlements. I don't know. I haven't done it before. So I think once we have something worth trading, then it'll be like, okay, we'll do something with that. No swearing for five. Oh, yeah, that'd be hard. That's what she said. The pack station barter connection allows you to send and receive goods between another region. Okay, so we need one of these. So maybe we put it over here. So we do that. Um, farmhouse. Everybody, everybody's working the farms fine. Right, everything's going good up here. The apple trees are looking thick and luscious. Looking very thick. Uh, my thingy is done, and it looks nifty as shit. Pay your taxes, or I'll shoot you out of one of the porthole thingies. Alright, upgrade. Immediately upgrade this. Need planks. I got planks. Like, over here we got some timber. Pack station's done. Uh, I think somebody has moved in here, yeah, because now there is six families. Um, the woodcutter needs someone assigned to it, so there's that. Trying to get this established, and then I'm, I'm hoping maybe we'll get some farmers in by next, uh, next season. Oh, and people are moving into Barlinghampton! I like that you can see that just creeping out. Still can't see... Running out of fuel. Oh, I just assigned a guy to take care of that. I like how this is still just hidden in the woods here. Here, somebody could be an official grave digger. Food is still app. Okay, okay, a fuckload of veg just came in. And all of the crops just got harvested. So it's gonna get. It's gonna get breaded soon. So we're gonna have bread soon. Not enough supplies. It's, is it because they fucking stole it? Is it because they goddamn stole the supplies? Is that why there's not enough supplies? All right, so do you need a pack station at both sides? Okay, I need a mule, so I'll order a mule. Assign a family to work. 
uh, assign that. Okay, okay, okay. And then what I can do is I can move things back and forth. So I probably need another pack station on the other side. Maybe? Maybe. They're too small. Yeah, I know there's the bandit camps up there. There's actually, I think, more. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. But it's just, they're a pain in the, you can't get rid of them. I went up there, I wiped them all out, and like one of them, I killed it, I turned my back, and it spawned back in. And then I killed it again, went and took, wiped them off the map, and by the time I got home, they two more had spawned back in. You just can't get rid of them, you just have to deal with them stealing your shit. It's infuriating. Also, what can I, what can I build more shit over here? I build my tax office just for lulz. Not that it actually, it's just cosmetic, but still I want it. Oh, I think it does uh, increase the, like, the, the build radii, though. So, like, if I build it right here. Yeah, okay. Come in! And then make sure it gets plugged in. Oh, what is that? It's signifying my plot, I guess. My personal plot. And this is maxed out now, yes. So they're all they're all doing the work. A lot of these crops are going to get done next season. Mo many of them are fallow this season. And over here, we got we, we're doing okay. You can use towers for that; they're far more effective. They are exactly the same amount of effective. It increases the radius by the exact same amount. And I just wanted to build this because. It's a cosmetic item, and I just felt like putting the cosmetic item in. This is starting to really look nice, though. Look at this fucking little place. And there's that little shitty town over there. The existing manors have to be rebuilt, too. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Wait, do we have to use the exact... Do we have to rebuild everything? I thought they would just build... I, I thought it was just the visual... But no, you have to use the supplies and rebuild the whole thing. I figured you would just have to use the difference. Like, oh, this is four more than additionally, so we just need four more. No, you have to pay to rebuild the whole fucking thing. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> I blame the peasants. I absolutely blame the peasants. And we're starting to do a little better over here, too. Oh, so much meat. First question, if you had the power to be sucked into a game and live in that game, what would it be? For me, I think it would be The Last of Us 2? You want to live in a zombie apocalypse? I would have gone for, like, Baldur's Gate or something like that. Oh, man. All right, all right. We got a lot of hides here. So these guys could also... I mean, maybe it'd be better to just move the hides over. Pokemon into slavery? Was that... Is that what it is? All right, and these need... Oh, and we have... We have some cash over here. Oh, oh, and we do have one hitching post. Okay, we don't have the planker. Helldivers! Stardew Valley. Okay, right, there we go. I, I can get behind that. Doom, just for the music? Yeah, but the music in Doom is non-diegetic. Baldur's Gate, you want to live in the ball spawn Christ or do you mean Baldur's Gate 3 because the Mind Slayer Crisis sounds great? Yeah, but, like, the Mind Slayer Crisis, depending on how you play the game, is completely fine. Everything's fine. And, like, not everybody has a bad time. Maybe, maybe in that universe, I'm a warlock. I'd, I'd sell my soul for some power and do it. Sounds fine. All right, we got uh, free families here, too, so we could start getting some more things going. Um, so, yes, I think we should immediately turn the, 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 the textiles or the, the stuff into textiles here. So one of these is going to be the tannery. Definitely. Boom. 
put the tannery in. Um, we're gonna need the forester here as well. Forester's hut. That back over here as well. There we go. How's the manor lording doing? Quite good! We're doing better this time than I did last time. Look at that, six months worth of food. Instead of zero. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. And, uh, soon... Oh, 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 okay. They're starting to process all of the, the stuff. So, we're gonna have bread coming in soon now, too. Those lazy bakers are getting to work. When is this full release? Uh, two weeks, I think it was. So, relatively soon. Fuck you. You sons of fucks. Oh, and we do need planks over here, too. So, I'm gonna need, uh, to put the Plankinator over here. There we go. I think we could have one woodcutter now, because they're fine on wood. Alright, alright! Food looking good here now? Bread, eggs, veg- okay, yeah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna hear your bitchin'. Okay, we st we need four more level threes. But you're missing- oh, we're short on barrel! I can't upgrade three- so this next- next season needs to be the season of barrel. So you fuckers need to start farming. <laughs> All right, so this area right here, barley! And then the farmhouse is gonna go right here. Boom. And then this spot over here, guess what? Fucking barley! Why not? Why is that not legal? All right, maybe if I start in this corner. It's just saying no. Okay, well, well, I'll start with the one I got. You fucks. The season of barley. There we go. Storehouse and granary are being worked. Where should I have to go? See, is that depending on the combat, tactical combat aspect of the game, is it good? I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it's it's roughly equivalent to Total War, only in some ways a little bit better. Smaller scale, but in some ways it, it does have a leg up, which is pretty cool. So I think it's damn good. Yeah, we can't upgrade because of the lack of barrels, so we need to focus on that. We have uh, people here to farm, so that's fine. Uh, I need someone in the tannery and the forester and over here. So we do need more families in here now, too. Some of these I can't have extra living space, so they're going to get extra living space thrown in. And do we want to, um, let's get some chickens in over here, too. Okay. Oh, God! Holy hell. Do the devs benefit if the game is bought early access? Same if you buy it normal time, only they get the money earlier. Hang on. Sometimes it's good to buy things early access to help the devs out. 
um, especially if you really like the game. Sometimes it's useful because a lot of times games release at a lower price in early access, and then when it's 1.0, the price goes up a bit. So that's always a thing to think about, too. Saw Pit. Forester Hut. Tannery. And as these are built, we'll get some more families coming in, too. We should be able to upgrade some of these to level 2 pretty easily as well, because we'll have um, food. Well, we'll only have the, the... No, we'll have two sources. We'll have technically three sources of food. This one. This one. Man, we are, we are rolling in meat. It's, <laughs> everything's so meaty. We'll have eggs as well. Berries, meat, we'll have eggs, we'll have clothes. So it'll be good here. He's done the Lord's work. It's such a good game. I would absolutely... So one thing that really helps that a lot of people don't really think that much about, wishlisting. Making off with my meat. Wishlist games that you like, that you want to keep an eye on. Absolutely wishlist games. That is an important metric for devs. So absolutely do that. Uh, do I have any Barl coming this coming you? Rye, 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 Rye. Oof. So this is this is definitely going to be Year of the Barls over here. Build a second barter post? No, I have not done that yet, so I do need to get that done. Uh, was that under... Where was that? Logistics. The pack station. Put that over here. More families are moving in. That's what we need. Because we're going to need the farmers. Absolutely going to need the farmers. Yeah, it's a nice little... This is a nice little settlement. It's coming together. Yeah, and we can, we can do more houses over this way. Have some okay sized uh, plots in the back here. Do that. It's March. Uh, I would love another farmer in this because this is not a tiny field. It is in. It is kind of a medium field. I can also start, because I do have some, oh, some regional wealth. <laughs> I, I, I moved over, that's why, that's why I changed. So I absolutely could um, uh, 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 buy some barrel in. Pantry is full. Well, that's not a bad problem to have. Gr bring it into the granary. All that stuff around. There we go. Uh, did you set any? Not over here, but over here. So this is this. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> now I have. But it's it's April, so that's fine. It's planting season now. We, we're good on food. Excellent on food here. Uh oh, and we just need a church over here. Before we could get to level two. <laughs> like, I want more barrel. Oh god, is it we're switching one of these to barrel? Because these are all right. Oh, this is well, no, this is God damn it, I have no barrel over there and it's already kind of done. Um sewing is in progress on these. Okay, we got guys coming towards us. Uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity here to, um... There we go! <laughs> Get some more men in, up to 17. There we go. Look how cool the map! I love it. I love this game. 
I fucking love this game. It's so good. And look, we ha there's so many wild animals here. We could absolutely assign another guy to bring meat in, too. Game looks fun. Do you have any spare oxen to put on the farm? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. So we're just gonna have to uh, muscle through it right now. Just making sure... Like, unassign the guy from the saw pit for now. So we have 15 planks here. We don't need that many planks. For, uh, so, and we, we do need... We do need these these barrels done. So let's let's try to put another field in too. Now that they're making good progress on this one. Functionally just expand into each other over the course of the game? Kind of. I, I think if you wanted to them, them to, they absolutely could. This is kind of a nice town over here. I, if we get a church going, it'll be nicer. And I'm going to keep assigning farmers. Because I need them to work this fucking land. Oh, also, I do need to tell them to put... Borrow it! We have 500 firewood over here. That's plenty. Don't forget the- Oh, fuck, I have- Oh, fuck, they're right there! Fuck! 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 Balls! Balls and balls! Fuck! Rally the troops! Get to the church! I know they're gonna come for it! <laughs> they're over here. I think there was one- Okay, that's not too bad. I don't know how well the archers were archers were will fare fighting in the, the woods. But hopefully we can take out one before the other two groups come together. Or Oh, oh, oh. Was there four groups? Or no, there's three, and I think I lost sight of them. So, you guys are gonna start shooting in the ass. Shoot those ones. They're gonna get, they're gonna, I'm gonna get charged in the rear here, but, you know, do your thing, shoot them in the back. All right, then shoot these ones. My retinue's coming to help. Ah! Here comes the retinue! Oh, I think there was two groups there. I think it was four groups. These ones are continuing to do fine. I think that was two- yes, it is two groups. But we- we, we should be okay, I think. Okay, so that was- that was more enemies than I thought. I thought it was three groups, and I think it was four. Ah, oh, man, the, uh, the corpse pit's gonna be busy tonight! Push! I've lost a couple archers. That's okay. Look, yeah, the retinue is kicking some fucking ass. I think this is gonna be really fucking cool once that we, we, we have access to the full game and there's like a lot more troops doing a bunch of cool fucking shit with heavier arm. Maybe I should try to get some heavier armor now. Also, the retinue did some, did, did some numbers. All right, grave digger. We have a great, no, all right, there we go. We need a corpse, corpser. Also, over here, everything's doing good. Do, or do anybody live here? No. So people haven't moved into these ones yet. But I think they would if I if I built a church. 
which I think I might be able to do. I, I could see how, I was thinking about it, I was like, well, if you consider the church God's house, then residential makes sense. I need more planks, though. And this is going well. This will be, this will be harvested this season. And if anything, what I think I'd probably want to do is, they're almost done with this, wait. Is this, um, the, oh wait, no, 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 they haven't sewed it yet. Come in here and corpse you up. Corpse you up and mail you to mama. 40 bodies need burials, yeah. We'll get on it, don't worry. We did okay. What was that character from The Simpsons names? Uh, Colonel Leslie Hap Hapablap. That's what it was. It's amazing how uh, ingrained into your brain old Simpson stuff gets. All right, uh, construct church. That's good. That's two barrels. I don't know what the yield is going to be, but we got two barrel crops coming in. And again, every every available family save for one who's dedicated to construction has got to be working the barrels. Walking around my house taking the vest sack. See my vest. See my vest. Made from real gorilla chest. See this sweater, tis no better than authentic Irish sweater. See this hat, twas my cat, my evening wear vampire bat. These white slippers are albino, African endangered rhino. Grizzly bear underwear, turtlenecks, I've got my share. Beret of, beret of poodle on my noodle, it shall rest. So try my red robin suit, it comes one breast or two. See my vest, see my vest, see my vest. Gets in there. Those Simpsons songs from from like the Simpsons heyday, catchy as fuck. Look, look at my vegetables. Behold my vegetable and despair. Don't quit your day. Not planning on it. I love my day job. Love my day job and my night job. Because my day job is this, and my day job is this with different games. Uh, church is churching along. They're doing their thing. I could use more people in here, but I think I need God. Like my loafers, former gophers. It was that, or skin my chauffeurs. But a greyhound for a tuxedo would be best. Randomly sing spider pig. I said, I randomly sing spider pig to my dogs. Absolutely randomly sing spider pig. This is, is going super smooth, actually. This is going really well. Um, so what do our stocks look like over here? So we got tons of leather over here. But we also have, we have hides over here, but it hasn't been processed. Is my tanner lazy? Can't help but notice you fuckers aren't, uh, goating. Also, maybe we go ahead and upgrade some of these to twos. This whole row here. Goat row can get upgraded. I'm very happy that the food situation's very- Hey, and we did get another family coming in over here already. Oh, whoa, 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 something just happened. Okay, so, whatever this was, burned down. What was it? I don't know, but rebuild it. <laughs> a hunting, my hunting cap burned down. Uh, we got a, a year's worth of food and um, firewood over here too, that's great. 
Oh, and yeah, you can you can hunt that down. Food, meat, berries, eggs. Got a little bit of eggs. Construction complete in the hunting camp. Good. So, 51 days, 50 days. So, do we want to go ahead and put in another another barrel? To work. I'm signing to uh, basically everybody here. The the town exists for the farm, and everybody except for one constructor is just being assigned to work the farms. And ideally, what we end up doing here is uh, we go for heavy plow. We could also do the advanced skinning to get a lot of meat too, because we just want we just want food production so that we can really start ballooning the size of the towns. Also, I mean, over here it's more barrel production is important than anything else. So like what do we need over here? Or the church fuel. Why do we need fuel? We have the we have the wood. Is that not being distributed? It's right fucking there. The fuck you complaining about? All right, yeah. This oh, 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 oh God has arrived. The farm uh, place could use the upgrade that allows for use for farmland as pasture. Yes, absolutely. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um. Because I, I unlocked it uh, offline and, and clicked around and I couldn't figure out how to tell them to put the fucking animals in the fallow pasture land. But uh, maybe we can figure it out. Alright. Start over here in this corner. Start upgrading. As many of these as I can, honestly. There we go. Cool. I think you just don't set up pasture land. Okay, we can try that. If we get that, we if we get to that level with that secondary settlement there. And more people moving in. You know the rules, get to the farm. All right, the farm is maxed out now, which is great. Uh, we have food. We have, we have, uh, fuel. Could use more timber. Uh, but that's because the logging camp- Again! They don't count the timber that is in the logging camp. Oh, the storehouse is fucking packed, too. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a second ox over here. Or as much as possible before I start playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, we could, we could try that out if we, if we get there. But like, what I had, the problem I had before is I had a little pasture set up, um, and I had some sheep in it, and then I unlocked that, and I just couldn't figure out like what, what it was that I, the, in the UI to tell them to go there. Ah, Barl! <laughs> Woo! All right, all right. So, I need. You. I thought I fucking ordered a mule already. Get a fucking mule. And I want Barl. I gotta find it. Grain, high, this is. Flax, linen, charcoal, stone, herbs, not malt. Wait. Is it, is that it? Or is that what comes out of the malt house? No, there it is, Barl. And you send me. Uh, 
Oh, I'm taking barley, and I will send you... Shoes. Okay. Do I need to do anything else at this point? Or or will will they work now? Not enough wealth. Okay, we just upgraded these guys to level twos, which is why we don't have enough wealth. Okay, so I think what we were planning on doing was going for advanced skinning just to get like fuck loads of meat. Um so sheep breeding, fertilization is the one we were talking about. I think the heavy plow would also be great. Yeah, let's get the plow. Let's do the plow and then we can assign an oxen to work here. And we have some wealth coming in here. So that'll be fine. I see Barl! Okay, so somebody already works here. I've assigned a livestock and I've ordered a mule. Wait. Wait, 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 what, 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 hey, hold on. Where are all my oxen? What, what is going on? Oh, I'm not, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck me. I kind of assumed when I was operating on a city or a, a building in here, it would have that. Now, do I did I order two mules? I may have. All right. Taxation worker advanced. We have, uh, we have, uh, we have a guy. All right. So, do I need to do anything else? There's the mule. He's waiting. Does somebody need to work the pack station over here? I I hope to God we don't have to have them both set up identical. Also, taxation minus 20. Fuck, fuck you guys. Lack of entertainment. How about you complain less? I barely tax you at all. Yeah, can we, um... What's the tithe? What, 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 how does, what is this? Percentage? Oh, food that gives me influence. Ten. Alright, we'll take the taxes off. Look at people in the pack station. Okay, yeah, that's what I was... Because, like... Right now, nothing's happening. going home and waiting. And yeah, you, uh, enacting policy, conquering banding camps, upgrading your churches and manners. Yeah, I really don't need any more. These are all upgrading. Just great. Nothing stored inside. Usably set up a barter connection allows you to send and receive goods between this and another region near command. Employees mules transport for 20 goods per trip. Don't I, I have shoes. No! <laughs> I just crashed. Uh. No! 
Oh. I mean, it auto saves fairly frequently, I think. Yeah, that was my first crash. I mean, I played it for like 18 hours and that was my first crash, so. It's not like it's happening all the time. All right, so I did lose the field over here. So let's just redo that real quick. I think it was I think that's bigger than it was before. There we go. Uh okay. So So we want to send them boots, shoes, so they don't get stolen, and we want my barrel. There's someone assigned to it. I'm going to order a mule. And, um, hope for the best. The thing is, is I really, really, really... Partner region has no storage for this kind of good. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm starting to think what you have to do is set up the identical thing on both sides. Which is going to be an absolutely terrible way of handling this, if that is indeed the way it works. Because it seems like that's the way it's going to work. Make sure we have our guy assigned here. I technically I've got another mule somewhere. Yep. Okay, there's the mule. All right, I'm going to leave it for a bit and see what happens. Also, I think these might be a little far from a mar from the marketplace, so I think what I'm going to do is make a secondary marketplace over here. Um, do, do, do. because they, they just don't have firewood, which is super easy to get. Uh, build residential, just a little marketplace for this little corner here. Not so little, um. Yeah, yeah, that's a little better. This little guy there. Okay, still nothing. Oh. Uh, so I want to receive boots. And I want to send Barl. So now let's see what happens. Pantry is full. That needs to be upgraded. That needs stone, but we're good for now. Uh, nothing's happening yet. Maybe just give it some time. Oh! Fuck me! No appropriate storage for barter. Pack station. I don't think these work.
Unless maybe now that time it was saying because the storehouse is under construction, maybe? Oh. Marl. Oh, oh, uh, it could be because the barrel hadn't been harvested yet. I was a little early. So assign another person to work here. So. Let's see what happens. They gotta bring the barrel in. Because it exists. Also, uh, we were planning on upgrading this. One, two, three. Let's at least do four. Storehouse. Oh, whoa! There's shoes in there now. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think it's working now. Which means the barrel has arrived. Yeah? Does that mean the malt house is- The malt house is malting! Does the brewer brewing? Do we want to do we want to uh, uh, upgrade the brewer to a, a fa Oh, we can upgrade to level 3, which means yeah, the brewer is working. Progress has been made. All right. We have achieved trade. Uh it's a little finicky. Um, I think that could probably use some improvement, but, but it's working. So, I, I feel like there is a better way of doing trade. It's pretty fucking finicky. Cause it, you can only do one, it's very finicky. It is extremely finicky. How's Marylor's? Overall great. There's only been a couple things I've run into where it's like, this doesn't feel done or this doesn't feel right. Um, but I feel like because you can only do one trade good each way, you can't just be like, I want to give, like, like this much food every season or every year. I move this amount of goods. It's it, it's pretty basic feeling in the trade system. And um, it, it definitely feels like it could use a fair bit of improvement there. Because that is really finicky to use. And I do not like it. Um, I'm just glad we did get it working, though. That's a step in the right direction. How's the granary? Oh, barely full. Storehouse, a little full. I'm thinking maybe we could start making some weapons and stuff again. I would love to start making some fucking, like, mint armor and really murdering the shit out of some people. I need a couple of these level threes need to get upgraded, which I think I did enough of them. We just got to wait for them to uh, actually do the construction. So like, yeah, so, so the issue is going to be, like now they will trade as long as all the boots we have. 
And this is a situation where it's just like, I, I want you, this, that you exist to give me barley. I might be thinking about it wrong, but it's like, you ex, you are like a, um, a, a, a subsidiary. You exist to send stuff to me. And now I'm sending you finished goods, which is kind of fine, but it's like, I want to make sure that I don't send them all out. And I don't think there is a way. Yeah, there's nothing in here that says only do this amount. I have plenty of shoes, but still. The trade post would do the same thing, but with money, uh, while barter stations, uh, is to, to, to broke to use money. So the, the, the trade stations are basically trading off map. For cash. Barley for shoes. Just like the traditional medieval saying, barley for shoes. There we go. Construction, the brewer, the brewery has been upgraded. This is the official brewer. April 2060s to hurry up. Two more weeks! And everybody, wait, why are you getting more unhappy? I stopped, I'm not taxing you anymore. You fucks. <laughs> you sons of bitches. Am I, am I out of booze? Did you send me all of your barrel? You have more barrels! But it doesn't seem to move anywhere. We have too many shoes now. Wonder if a uh, say a farming village will send it to uh, uh, to link towns. Maybe I think that that could be uh, the situation because that that part was uh, of the game was locked, and we couldn't say mining or farming or trade station or whatever it was. So maybe it's a situation of when the full game is released and you can do an actual farming village as a subsidiary. Maybe then it will be like okay that there'll be different options for sending goods to and for, but like. Just using the pack stations is feels like a really bad stopgap measure. Oh, I thought I stopped taxing you. I could have sworn I stopped taxing you. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I yelled at you about the tax situation. That's my bad. Uh, do we have borrow? Okay, we do have. We still got borrow coming in. That's good. So this can immediately go to three. This can immediately go to three. This can immediately go. Oh no, these are level ones that we can upgrade to twos. Apparently I never upgraded them. Well, that's fine. We got 19 level twos here. Would it not be better if you send booze their way instead? Me send these guys booze? No, no, because these you need booze for the level three houses, and I don't need any level three houses over here. Uh, unless you're saying make the booze here and send it over. But the thing is, is I've already got the infrastructure and the usage for it over here, so it, felt, it seemed like a better idea to send the raw material over. Also, because it's I'm bartering with these guys, it's kind of better for me for them to send their cheap shit over rather than finished products. Well, what did I buy over here? A heavy plow. Which means... Upgrade this. Thankfully, we do have um, some wealth coming in from the level 2 houses. Is the area next to you have anything useful that you can... Uh, 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 now that you can afford another camp? Well, I can afford another camp, but there's not really any reason to. Right now. Like there was a reason to do this one because I needed the resources over here, but now I don't. I don't need to. to the, it would just be doing it for lulls, basically. So the, the what we were talking about is if we like put another camp over here somewhere. Oh, I can't because I haven't. Well, let's claim it first. Let's let, let's go ahead and claim it. Because why not? Also, I really want to get the armor. 
so I can start making some some better units. But we got we got level threes coming in. Construction's underway. This like little row of houses here though, so cool. So that's the tavern. There's the pack station. This is the brewery. Ah, hello! It's a barrel of barrels. Cause like most of these are level twos or level threes now. Man, I hope in the full game there's even more levels. That'd be fucking cool. I mean, these are pretty fancy pants. Village well. A bustling marketplace. This is that this is that really big plot that I was hoping was going to be more interesting looking but is not unfortunately. That's all the vegetables and the fields off in the distance and then the orchard is right here we just passed it. The apple trees are looking lovely. Giant fucking castles. Uh you can build up your manor. So that is something you can do. Unfortunately, this is still a little silly. Because, like, if I want to build one... Well, here, let's build some walls. Or is it going to cost a fucking fortune for me to build some goddamn walls here? Alright, that's not too bad. What if I put in an outer tower? Oh, the ball walls went away. And so did the thingy. Fuck, balls. Yeah. The- this is really strange how this works. Like, I just want to upgrade it, but then it makes me pay the... And now it's telling me... I don't... Okay. Can I get rid of this? Yeah. But this is not updated. I'm not even trying... Yeah, okay. I'm not going to bother futzing around with this anymore. I don't think it's not working. I don't think it's working as intended. Oh, now it reset. <laughs> okay. I just want to see some walls. Is all I kind of want. Which I couldn't even commit to that because I didn't have enough timbers. Because for some reason there's never, there's never any timbers. Uh, the corpse pit's got some corpses in it. Maybe we just go ahead and tell them to build another logging camp. Down the ways. Much anomaly. Uh, why now? Uh, I have played a little bit of Anomaly. I've mostly been trying to, um, uh, get the mods updated. Get my mod, my mod list rebuilt. So what we were talking about is this. Farming, so town, which is kind of what we started with. And then farming village, forest village, mining village. So it's probably like, we'll have something to do with sending food, um, wood, firewood, uh, you know, stuff from the forester, or for the, the, the hunter and the, the uh, forager, and then mining stuff. So that's probably what I'm thinking, but these, doesn't say they're locked, but they're locked. So maybe that's what it is. And like, the town is more of the... The hub. Doing a no mod run at the moment, I'm only the beginner anomaly so far. No mod run! Oh my god. This is a crazy person. One more. Okay, when this finishes, we get our next point here. Which I think might be our last one for this one. Might be our last point in here. But we can start working on armor, methinks. Okay, so... That's the logging camp. Yeah, there's 22 fucking logs here, but they don't count... The ones in there don't count 
for construction purposes for some reason. So what are the ones that, where are the ones that count towards construction? 19, are those the ones? No, there's 23 in here. Where are the, lo the, the timbers they're counting? Because they ain't in the storehouse. There, there isn't any timber in here. Huh. Interesting. I wonder how, I wonder what's going on there. I definitely think there's some bugs here and there. There's some finny, there's some finickiness here and there. But overall, like, like, it's things that aren't design flaws. It's things that are just like, okay, I'm, I'm... I'm on a lot, uh, you, know, you know, a locked version of the game that was sent out for a preview. Uh, that was prop, you know, the code on this was probably locked down weeks ago. Nine. Oh, I thought I thought that one was gonna be the last one. Oh, there's no, nobody back here. Well, you're gonna be an armor smith maybe then. And food and tavern. Did we I think we ran out of barrels, yeah. We bar we we we, we done barreled. Oh wait. Alright, so fertilization, irrigation. What what do we want here? Do we want the armor smith? We want the armor smith. Cause what we were gonna do is come down here. Oh no, there is one more. Uh and you're gonna be a armor smith. And you guys are gonna borrow like you've never borrowed before. You're gonna order another ox. Make sure someone is assigned to work here. This town is fucking popping off. They're doing great. They're doing their damn jobs. And do we do we want do we want to put it because we got they got their thing coming in. Do we want to put in another um another crap? They can keep cropping. Right down to the edge here. 2.8 Morgans. Barley! And then you can take a wheat and then a fallow. Uh, and then we will also... Oh, I thought I had more families assigned here, actually. Um... Pants, livestock. That's also a bug when you click. Sometimes when you're clicking through these, it, it closes. Threshing priority. Total field workers, numb. I guess we could increase the threshing priority. Maybe that'll help with the, the fact that a lot of them fuck around when I don't want them to be fucking around. <laughs> Alright, there's some barrels. Wheat. Barley, barley, good. And what do we need here? We need only one more level two house. So let's bring in some more families as well. We could absolutely afford to bring have more people in here. All right, armor smith. Production helmets. Okay, so... How... Do, do they just wear them? Like, if they have them available, I think they just wear them. Because I'm seeing these guys have already taken 12 helmets each. So, like, if I rally you, I just want to see. I just want to see here. Will some of these guys be wearing things? Yes! Oh, that's cool! A bunch of them are wearing... I mean, considering it's one family, do you think you could have made it a little bit more uniform? Every single helmet's a little bit different. Especially that guy's very pointy. I like the kettle helm, though. Those are nice. But yeah. Like, they, they each individually upgrade... That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's awesome. Um. Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm outside of the home region. You are absolutely right. 
And we actually uh, got another point over here. So allows to use a fallow field as a pasture rapidly restores lost fertility. So we can try that. We're going to need to bring in sheep, which are really expensive, though. Lazy way would have been to make them all the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely went the extra mile. So we can try that. And then what we need to do is save up our cash and buy in some sheep. Or, can, oh god, see what, I, what would be great is if I could buy the sheep in over there. And then just move them over. Because this place has got wealth out the wazoo for sheep. Like, if we put in the livestock trader. Right there. This place is kind of coming together, though. If we wanted to. Some of these could have some smaller, like a small vegetable garden. Although I was just saying, let's save up our money. Eh, fuck, I put the vegetable garden in. They're fine. It's a little, little baby vegetable garden. But yeah, it's definitely super cool that, like, as we're making the armor, it's being distributed out. And these guys are using it. So, like, how would we go about, um... So, is there anything in industry that... Okay, is there, like, specialized? That's that's yarn. The gambeson probably needs... The linen and the wool. So, if I go to the armor shop... So, it's, ju it's just helmets. That's all they make. I mean, it's a big step in the right direction. You know what I could even do as well, is I could go like this. Militia footman, militia polearm, militia... Okay, like these guys? And then tell them to start making... Swords again. And it was small shields. Small shields again. Start working. Fletcher we're fine on. This little, this little, I mean, this is fucking cute. This little farming village here is fucking cute. So, like, they, there's, there's just this row of houses. Do you have iron production going? Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of it stocked. Like, I had, like, 180 stockpiled. And then we've got all of our barrels. There's... So th this is super cool too. So it's like all the, they everybody lives here. These are all their fields that they work. There's the farmstead, and then off in the distance you can see the the big structures of um, of of uh, Vegas off in the distance, and it looks like a trader coming up the road. And what's really cool is I can't I can't right. Where is it? Right there, above my head. I don't think that's the church. I think that's the tower I built next to my manor. Oh, hello! <laughs> you can see it off of the distance there, which is fucking cool. Commi I'm committed to building my little walled settlement now. There you go. Yes, the other village could have their own militia. Stealing my boots. I I run a rich boot trade. They <laughs> they lust after my boots. They've got the boot lust. So now we we could set we could fence in these, which means that um. Uh, we could use them for the pastures, but. See, the thing is, is, we need the livestock, and the livestock, I think, are going to be owned over here. I don't think I'd be able to transfer them. Look how fucking cool this game is. It's just so pretty. Make this my highest priority. What do we got coming here? Fallow. This one's fallow. Wheat. Barley. We got some, we got some homegrown barrels coming in. We got my own barrels. 
I love that it's a deposit. A rich deposit of... meat. We got some veg coming in here, too. I don't think I want to keep buying in more veg, though. We could upgrade more of these to twos, because that'll bring in more wealth. And they can all go to two, no problem. Uh, that will mean I'm a little low on ones, but I can bring in more poor people, it's fine. So what do you do? Well, I am a deer miner, I mine deer. Gage wolf. N some nice ass jerky. Uh, let's see. So we have livestock trader now. So I can tell them I want to bring in sheep. And I'd tell them I want to, I'd, I'd like a surplus of eight sheep. Or uh, how many, th this is pasture space for only four, so say four for now. Let's do that. Oh. The veg has really built up here. 500 veggies. Where are all those eggs? So it says I've got 400 surplus eggs, but only 70 of them are here. Because that's not total, sur surplus is what's sitting around. Total stored is everywhere. All goods stored present in the region. Can go negative if the example of your uh, recruits are missing equipment, okay. Militia footmen. I kind of just want to see these guys. Swords, axes. They've all got helmets and shields. That's cool. <laughs> Look how cool that is. That was the statement. It's going good. It's going very good. Another bug here is that uh, to um, send them home, you do need to refresh the... Little page. Th oh no, that time it worked. Eh, never mind. Fuck me. Ah, <laughs> barley for every man, woman, and child. Definitely for the children. Stealing my fuck off boots all the time. It's what they do. Cute little village, though. It's not exactly working as I intended because it's really hard to move. Uh, stuff between towns because I think the way it's supposed to work is there, the town is supposed to be the hub and then there's supposed to be like farming and mining villages around it. But here's this thing done now, which is super cool looking. We got a little palisade around just my house. Now, I'm assuming that in the future, again, in two weeks when we get the full game, there'll be more to this and we'll be able to expand this and make it grander. Uh, let's see, we can paint my retinue and just bring more of them in. So an, what does the armor upgrade do? Oh my god, that's awesome looking. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so once you do the armor upgrade, buy locally, half by half price. Okay, so I spent all my money hiring in more. Oh, okay, you can promote your own guy, but it's locked in early access. And this is bought basically just buying them in. There's so much in here that is. There's so much, what, what's uh, kind of shocking in the game is there's so many things that are locked in early access. And part of me is like, wait, 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 wait. Is it only locked for us on this build and it all comes in two weeks? Or is in two weeks this the build that's kind of going to go live? You know, a couple extra weeks worth of work. And then, and then like way down the line we're going to get more. I don't know. So yeah, look at that. Look at this one dude. 
Get fucked, noobs! That one guy is coming to fight! <laughs> oh, God. The retinue is cool. Uh, there's one thing I think it might be missing, though. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. And... What I would lo what I would ideally want to do is copy and paste. Like, I would uh, most likely, most of the time, want my retinue to be, like, all identical. And yes, you can name them all. Um, all identical. And right now, I think the way it would, you would have to work is you'd have to be like, okay, this guy's gonna take this, and then he's gonna take that, and then he's gonna take... that and then this guy he's like he's gonna take this you have to go through each of them and uh so, so, so being able to copy and paste would be awesome and i don't even know what the fuck this is it looks like you unlock shit as they get experience which is just fucking cool so do they just live with me yeah i guess they do they just hang out with me personally they're my boys Oh, I love this game so much. It's so good! Oh god. I'm stuck. Are these only level 1s? They are. Let's upgrade these to level 2s. You got- you got- my, my- my apple boys are important, so yeah, you get- you go to 2. And my- my- my veg boys. You guys can all go to 2 as well. Like, the game is amazing! It is, it is a stunning game. It's shocking that one person did all of this. And I can't wait to play the full thing. Like, there are minor gripes here and there, but it's like, the UI is unfinished. This was a bug. Uh, there's nothing in here where I'm like, mechanically, this is awful. I know how it's it seems this for full zoom to walk. Yeah! Like, straight down from walking around street level to straight out to the map seamless and still I say it again I love that this updates in real time one thing I think would be cool is it uh, if it would show the the farms it does not show the farms I really wish it did it just shows big blank areas where the farms are but again maybe it's just we're, we're, we're in a pre-release build we are in a pre-release build who knows what it'll look like when it's done done I actually forgot that we even put a church in this one. So have we have we borrowed? We have borrowed. We we have stored the barrels. So you guys have booze. So the the trade system I set up works. It's jank, but it works. And again, it feels like an unfinished system right now. Fuck! Oh god! My goats! My goats! S save the next door goats! Don't let it spread! Oh god! The great fire of uh, Vegas! It's raining, that should be helping, right? And right now it definitely is, fires are just random. How does, how does this work? Save the goats! Save the goats! The great fire of it. Oh, God. All right, they're just rebuilding it. Is that, that is dead goats. Sorry, sorry, goat, for goat neighbors. I didn't mean you for you to see that, but it happened. Oh, man, these could even go to threes. At least this one can. Oh, it could. And now, and then the booze supply. Oh, never mind. The booze is back. Nice to finally come to a trail that isn't uh, a follow only. Well, welcome, Hurt. All right, level three. Uh, th this this is gonna be pretty pretty spiffy looking. You can't go to level three. Requirements not met. I mean, it says the requirements have been met, so I'm not sure what the issue is. That's peculiar. Because they have everything. Oh! I just 
I just had to smash click a bunch of times and then it kind of worked. We waited so long for this game. Please, we finally have a release date. Two weeks and it's fucking so good. Yeah, I've been watching this game for what, two or two years or so? Since I, I think I initially found it. And I, I'm very pleasantly surprised at how it's coming together. It's immaculate. It's, it's a work of art, it really is. Like this, look how cool this is. Oh, okay, sorry. There's, there's some shit in the way there, but. Look how fucking cool this is. It's my vegetables down there. It's my apple orchard over here. This is Fancy Pants Row. Where all the rich people live. Bustle and market stalls. Turn to the left here. A busy medieval street. All the chicken coops to the right. These are artisans' houses to the left. We got a blacksmith. We got a brewer. Brewer's the big one on the end here on the left. Uh, we got. Uh, I think there's a tailor in there. Uh, pardon me, sir. Pardon me, ma'am. Uh, that's the brewer. This is the brewer's right here. And then this is the tavern. There's a barrel of barrels. It's my tavern right here. Oh, um, don't look behind the curtain. And then the next town, you can see, you, you can see the next town right up the road there. That's super cool. It's so good. It's just so freaking good. Like, not just visually, but it's one of those games where, like, things just feel right. It's easy to make what you want to happen happen. Our cobbled paved roads of the game. Not right now. I haven't seen any. But again, we are locked to. I'm pretty sure we're only we're in this build. I we're locked pretty early on in the game because there's all of this stuff that could be unlocked, but we only get enough points to unlock like five or six. There's all these policies, but only two are unlocked. There's this entire tab called production here, which is blank. <laughs> Unbelievable quality game. Unbelievable quality game is absolutely true. It's one of those things where it's like it's 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 like inconceivable that it exists. But frankly, right now I feel like AAA gaming is garbage, but we're getting so much good indie and like double A titles. We got Baldur's Gate, we get this, we get Hell Divers. There's so many good intermediary games, and they're like the 20 to 40. $40 range. Oh, developer is about to become a millionaire. I hope so. I think his name's Greg. Good. Nothing but positive vibes for Greg. Oh my god, we got wheat and barrels to last. Actually, we could send. If I had a good way to do it, I'd send the wheat over too. And what, what I think what I like even more is when we do this view from this end. So that's this is where all the farmers live. That was a trader right there. It's the farmhouse. But you can see the bigger town down the way. All the tall buildings. Yeah, you could clearly... Oh, you could clearly see. So that's my house right there, that big tower. And then between the trees, right above my head there. You can just barely see the church steeple. But it's just so cool looking. I love that he, he bothered to do this too. That you could just fucking walk around your goddamn- Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? I do have to wrap this up in a hot second, but I haven't walked around my house yet. Cool, cool. Although, I'm kind of disappointed. My personal house kind of looks like shit compared to the rest of the town. So this is the tower we were just looking at. Also, who let all of these peasants inside the, my, my palisade? That's the tax office, which kind of, kind of also kind of looks a little dilapidated there. Oh, oh no, I'm okay. I'm actually stuck there, so I can't walk through there. But that looks cool. All the apple orchards got their upgrades. 
I love that the backyards bump up against each other. It's so cool looking. But anyway, guys, I do have to wrap it up here. I am out of time, and my dinner just came out of the oven, and I'm fucking starving. But I am so happy that I played this today. I've been having yesterday as well. I've been having so much fun. Um, I think I can. I, I think I have kind of bumped up against the 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 amount of content that's in this current build here. So. Uh, I'll probably hold off to stream it more uh, for two weeks for, till it's in uh, release, unless I find I'll pl probably play this a little bit offline as well. If I find a bunch more content that's cool to show off, I absolutely will. But um, it's Sunday, so that means I'm not going to be able to stream during the work week. I'll be back next weekend, most likely with RimWorld Anomaly. All the mods will be updated. All the mods that I need will be updated, definitely. I mean, honestly, I can stream it right now, but I just really wanted to stream this today. Um, but I'll be back with RimWorld Anomaly, and then when this is live in its full version, we'll see what's there and hopefully play a bunch more. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh.